What's going on, guys? This is not a drill. The Need to Know podcast has been nominated for Best Co-Host Team in the third annual Signal Awards. We're so honored to be nominated alongside some incredible podcasters, and we need your help to take home the win. Click the link at the top of this episode's description and cast your vote for the Need to Know podcast today. It only takes a few seconds and every single vote matters. Hey, you can even do it while you're listening to this week's episode. We appreciate you so much for your continued support of the podcast and hope you enjoy the episode. I wonder what the comments are going to look like this week. Mm. Wait, why? What are we going to get into? <laughs> We've got, you know, one of our homegirls with us. Hit Family a child at this point. Yes. At this point, honestly. For oh, it's her again. Yeah. Uh-uh, they, go, they about to be like, uh-uh, I know that voice. I'm not listening this week. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I feel like they be lying. I feel like that's what... Wait, when y'all type that, by the way, that is how y'all sound. I'm not listening. See, I'm gonna go somewhere you, else. You already making it mad. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Okay, I will say, I will say, yeah. I feel like the people who comment are like, oh, I'm skipping this week, guys. I feel like those people really do listen, though. Oh yeah, yeah. like they stay around them. for the episode. Oh yeah, and then they they terrorize me for a month. Yeah, no, I don't believe them anytime they speak. No, I'm excited to be back. Yeah. I think there's some good topics. Yeah, and, a lot to get into. Uh, we got a lot to get into. Maybe yeah, yeah. every time you're here, we. I was just reflecting on this on the way back. So last week. <laughs> Uh, last time you were here, it was an infamous Meek Mill moment. Oh. And, but the week, the time why, before why that, that I know. But the time before that, we <laughs> you also, you know, made our rounds on the internet because of your Dreamville Fest story. Like oh. you oh, always, yeah. like you oh, always yeah. do something with us, That's and what like. She does. You know, at this point, I'm going to start asking for a 1099. Um, <laughs> they owe you, bro. You know. Wait, hold up. Didn't <laughs> did she just get enough money from us? She hey, definitely. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. By the way, so I'm just saying, like. Hey, say, Vaughn, you right. I, I remember being in the bank sending that wire. We, we, oh, are, sh- we ain't listen, even really announced it yet. Need to know podcast family. We got a ton Hello. to catch y'all up on. Hello. For sure, we for sure. sure do. We sure do. By the way, thank you for sending that to me before I did flew you, out to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> did you get uh, it? That was great. I did get it. Seamless. Came right on time. Love All right. Love All right. It. Oh my goodness gracious. Mind you, mind you, was so glad that, the, that it still came. Yeah. Despite his tax, you know, uh, oh, he, told, oh, he, told you. he got that cleared up. No, no, no. He didn't tell me. You I heard? listened to the Need to Know <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Jesus. That's our game. Hello. That's our game. I knew Manny was a real friend when she hit me concerned about my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I you was understand? concerned about my wire. <laughs> oh, that's she. That was good. She's thinking to herself like, wait, is the money still <laughs> coming? But is it gonna hit? <laughs> but is it gonna like, hit? As long as I get paid. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I ain't mad at that because um, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, Need to Know Podcast. Yeah. We have now acquired a studio here in Brooklyn, New York. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Working alongside nice. Mandy B. Full Core Studios is the family uh is the umbrella yes. of need to know studios Facts. so that's what the wire jokes are for that's what the the tax <laughs> jokes are at my expense i'll take that no i love it under new management I, yes. I don't know a lot of y'all don't know also just to the extent i have known Savon and alex for what what are, six seven years at least, yeah. at least. At least. That's a long time. Yeah. um i no, would say talk. and so to me it's just been incredible like a i know learning from each other but yeah also just seeing y'all grow and excel like Thank seeing you. you land at hbo you at sirius seeing what y'all have been able to do mm-hmm. meeting your team because your team has grown god yeah, damn sure. yeah. y'all, y'all got some salaries over here <laughs> yeah. you got some members yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. Uh, pierre we ain't talking to you nah, but, she, <laughs> yo you got a lot of hate for me recently but you More know on that later guys y'all right. y'all more on that later <laughs> um but no i think it's been incredible and i don't think people understand the the difficulty in mm-hmm. a sustaining a friendship yeah in podcasting that's a fact that y'all have been able to <laughs> yep. do um yeah, y'all done had a couple rotating chairs up we in have. here a little bit so, we so, have you know, absolutely I'm like, i like you, you here ready you, ready you, you, you been here for a I've minute been here. you know um but i think it's incredible and i love to see Savon you grow and i think for it just sure, worked out really good timing yeah. uh shared with you my real estate person you were mm-hmm. looking for a studio yeah i'm relocating and was looking to transition out of this space and mm-hmm. it just made all the most sense so i'm really excited to see what y'all do here and to sure. bring oh. more content creators in this space and yeah. y'all show them y'all there's gonna be new furniture and all that shit coming up in here i can't wait it's gonna look brand new in here you're gonna walk in like yo this is my shit all i know is you <laughs> owe the irs amex about to come for your ass no 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 we took care of all that we good we, we, we took care of all that we good we, we, we took care all that i love it yeah. i have a marketing plan for need to know studios sure. i think we should hit gen z 
Mm. I feel like I feel like they're not targeted for the studio yet. Yeah, you know why? Because them niggas ain't got money. A lot of niggas our age ain't got the money. Hey. Nah, the yeah. stream. That's what. Sorry, it is. look. The okay, they sorry. got that stream of money. <laughs> Some of the yes, no. That's what I'm saying. They're like a new type of content creator. Hey, if one of you mm-hmm. little niggas want to come up in here, be costing not pull up. Come on, let's be nice to them. See, we're already slandering them. For sure, we got uh, two studios. All right. <laughs> Hello. We got a content studio. We got a podcast studio. Yeah. We got an uh-huh. audio studio. Yeah. We got yeah. photo shoots. Hello. We got whatever Loud we need here at uh, Need to Know Studios. Again, Mandy, thank you. Um, no, I'm I excited for y'all. I really am. There, I love a, this. There, there was a lot yeah. of speculation on the internet as to why the transition happened. And honestly, it's just a testament to progression. Yeah. Evolution. Yeah. I, I it has have, nothing yeah. to it's do not with... Bad. It's that's not it. Bad, yeah. That's it. It had Literally. nothing to do with anybody failing. Makes it had sense. nothing yeah. to do with anybody trying to sell off assets because they're struggling. Like, no... This Wait, was is, is that what is they that a said? narrative? I seen a few. I seen a few. Yo, y'all gotta chill out. Oh, yeah, I see some hate. What? Some hate. Some hate. Yeah. Y'all people, gotta chill. People take such a positive like thing and just be like, oh, like just take the one negative thing you could possibly say about it. Like, no, look, Mandy, do people not know you're moving to Atlanta? Like, the, I, I mean, I don't know if that's a a, a main thing, but oh, nigga, bro. hold on. I have a book coming. I have about two or three announcements coming at the top Damn. of the year. <laughs> there are transitions happening for me and doors opening for me right. because, of course, one pussy ass door closed earlier this year. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, <laughs> what? <stand> so, <laughs> so <said> what? <laughs> and what? Oh my goodness! So, so <laughs> to me, like. I mean, Savon knows a couple other things. Like yeah. we were talking earlier today, I'm really excited on what's next That's right true. now. And yeah. this has been a, a place that I've been maintaining for the last three years on my own. No, I know it's on kind of own. impressive. Hiring, yeah. dealing with tech, bringing in. I love the team: Temp, Maya, Court, Cam, Jay, hey. everyone who's been here uh, over the last three years. But yeah, I'm I'm relocating, and this is a heavy load to own a space to pay salaries like. You we, know, we yeah. want to salute you on that because Savon and us, the rest of the podcast, we are taking on the back end and what it takes it's to run lot. this. Yeah. Ownership is and different. It's different. And, different. and to know what you've done all these years to own your dolo, it's it's impressive. I got to salute you. Thank you. Right, and my so. 401k is sitting, y'all pussy ass niggas. <laughs> yeah. I'm rich in real life. Well, <laughs> now, now that we kind of got that out the way, I mean, because these peasants be getting on my nerves. Well, we're going we go. to talk about whoever you consider to be a peasant a little bit we're later. We're not going to do that. Before we get there, what's going on, y'all? It's the Needs to Know podcast, is what you need to know when you need to know on the need to know podcast i go by the name savon s-a-v-o blah, n you feel what i'm saying what does the n stand for the, the n comes with four m which is mandy b you feel Ooh, what uh-uh, it's it? method mandy thank you oh method look at you she just looked at him like oh yeah, 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 yeah. s-a-v-o y'all we got reggie back in the building hello yeah. no hold on man we can't skip oh. my friend. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I appreciate work. that. It's but best for last. Yes, oh, and then I get the intro. Now. All right, I'm shutting up. Yeah, you good. <laughs> As I was saying, <clears throat> now I got to recalibrate my voice. <clears throat> hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, A. As always, the Paco Bone Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. Um, I'm so glad my contract was in- renewed after they fired me for one week for seven days. <laughs> it was the darkest seven days of my life, but I'm back, baby. I claim my spot and. To my left, even though we've been talking for the last 20 minutes, you've heard her voice. It was we not 20. That was a clean Mandy little B. Eight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Method Mandy in the building, a.k.a. Full Core Post, a.k.a. Dead Bitch, if yeah. you ain't know. What about Peggy you Stein? Know. You got rid of that? Uh, you know, first off, that is for my podcast. <laughs> I don't just... Mm, I'm not going to come out nigga? You know what's crazy? I'm not. I am actually you currently... Changed? No, I am decentering okay. from liquor, sex, and dating at the moment. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. Y'all ending actually believe the, that? Ending the year off, I am drinking kombucha and Celsius mix. Ooh. She is. Uh, Love that for you. And How yeah. long is this going to last? I mean, I don't know. I'm two days in, so we'll see. That's why I, I'm <laughs> not being shy. I'm like genuinely I curious. Mean, it, it's my birthday week, but Woo. again, I, I, mean, even I, just, early I drink a lot in Abu Dhabi and Dubai in the, over this last week. Are you allowed to drink in those countries? Are yeah. you? Yeah. You can't smoke. Okay. You can't smoke Trust weed, me, I know. but there's shisha everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, cigarettes is a thing. Shisha, for those who don't know, oh, is hookah. hookah. Sorry, I'm cultured. A lot of people uh, may not know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a flex. That was a calm flex. I'm sorry. Right. Was I was forgot calm. you Americans call it hookah. Uh, the hooks. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm cultured. And then also, so last but certainly not least, the man with the plan, with the cam. I got P. What's going on, P? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? how we doing? I, I'm doing, doing well, good, man. Bro. It's funny. So the last time we had Mandy on the podcast, so yeah. Mandy, like Reggie said, she always makes headlines on always. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, I do want to put this out there because I feel like 
the news cycle doesn't do her any favors At on all. this podcast. Hey, 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 hey. No, legit. When she comes on this podcast, like it's always organic because it's never like, oh my god, let me come on this podcast because I have something I want to talk about. It's like, no, mm-hmm. let me come on the, come on the pod because I fuck with y'all and mm-hmm. we fuck with her. Well, also, right? y'all already had me in Brooklyn today since four thirty, <laughs> so I was like, nigga, I'm Thought coming on sense. the pod right after. Yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck it, just pull up. <laughs> but the last time you came on, yes. My God, Pierre did us a favor and did you no favors. Nah, she she helped. She made my job easier, matter of fact. Yeah, Pierre, you, what'd you do? Yeah, so you I didn't really have to cut like anything in particular. So basically, I cut the um, the teaser of Mandy saying that nobody could name five Meek Mill songs. The infamous clip, guys. Yeah, and until this day, we still get notifications. As a matter of mm-hmm. fact, I still get the notifications. I'm about, to, I'm, 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 I'm about to uncollab and, actually with and that. Then, oh, I, all I, mental health. All I see is Mandy replying. I'm like, yeah, she's Yo, having Mandy, you do Yo, mind you, I see it. Mind like, you guys, the episode was well over a month ago. Yeah. Right? She's still replying to people. Okay, no, 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 no. First off, <laughs> first off, the problem is I feel like I gotta get my shit off to the people I can reply to. Okay. Like, y'all, there's so many people on the internet who want to spew the most negative things, and then I go back to respond and they be like, this person doesn't allow you to comment back. <laughs> And I'd be nah. like, I want to find your house now. <laughs> your IP I, address. Where, what is your IP address? <laughs> I want to make you lose your job. Um, <laughs> and so when I can reply, I'm going to get that reply off. <laughs> I, didn't I, know, I didn't know people would turn off their comments. Like, no, they can. Yeah, wicked. and it's like, yeah. wow. Okay, so fuck my mental health. Okay, this is a one-sided and, and I, thing. And I will say, too, every episode, somebody's got to be the fa- the sacrificial lamb. For that mm. episode, it was you. It's unfortunate. I think the week prior or the week after it was, that, it was Savon. After, it was Savon. It's Savon every nah, I don't every. ever see the internet come after Reggie <laughs> not, or not Alex. They be killing me. <laughs> yeah. They be killing me, yo. Real talk. Yeah. Where? Wait, where? They don't be killing help me find it. Where? What? Help me find it. Nah. I mean, I, I, you, you have to have such <laughs> tough skin weekly yeah. to speak on the current landscape of things. Absolutely. Uneducated, because sometimes y'all are talking about stuff before more information comes Nigga, out. I yeah. got a nine to five. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't be I know. knowing about these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these streaming when niggas. Your, come on, Twin, that's your job. All I know is Carson. I don't know a and P. You crazy. Yeah. You, you don't know the man? You, Who's the man? Duke Dennis. You it, better get your... You all right? Baby. <sighs> That's what you're trying to tell him. No, <sighs> no. You, you all right? Yo. Before y'all Wait, co-sign. you don't know the other nigga from the, from, from the Bronx? Before y'all... The little Phantom? chubber one? Phantom? Yeah. That one, he funny as fuck. See, Auntie and Tune. Say, Vaughn, you should name it. <gasps> no. Hold on. He's trying to say something. <laughs> Before y'all co-sign what Mandy about to say. Where was she co-sign? Ask Mandy why she know who Duke Dennis is. Don't do that. Mandy, why do you know who Mandy. Duke Dennis is? Because he fine. <laughs> Oh, that's not that bad. You have, Thank you. You have no shame. You have no shame. <laughs> no shame, baby. You, no, stop that. You stop that right now. Oh, that's what your problem. Oh, oh, oh. You be seeing this guy. You no, no, like no, him, no. Man. You know what's crazy hey. too? And before I could publicly lust over him, I was like, let me look up this nigga Asia, make sure yeah. he he thirty. He grow. Yeah, he grow. Oh, oh, okay. I, I didn't made, know that. Right, grow. made him look even sexier. Yeah, you good? But what now? Nah, because the whole world like him, so he's <laughs> yeah. somebody like. I'm a like, but it's not attractive yeah. that all these generations of bitches want this nigga. I'm you, good. You know the term riz. You let him riz you? Riz you up. What does that mean? What? That means yeah. like You was keeping up, game. Mandy. Come it's on. It's what the Gen Zs <laughs> say. Riz? Yes. That's not like jizz. I don't like it. <laughs> I like riz. I like, like the word. I don't word. like it. I ain't gonna lie. Speaking of jizz, we got mash shit to catch up with Whoa. you on. What a transition. Have you been to what? No, 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 no. I gotta ask. <laughs> It's let, been a while. Just rock with him. Just go. Yeah. Just let New, him. Just let news him. is broke. Reggie said, "What happened?" <laughs> One half of horrible decisions. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Have you been to a Diddy party? You know what's crazy? <gasps> let me tell you this. So I've been to a Diddy party, and when I found out about all the things that are, you know, this is gonna sound. I don't care how inappropriate this sounds. I was upset that I wasn't invited to stay for the free call. Mandy. What? You, I, you just missed the indictment. No, 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 no. So here's the thing. So, so, so th- She's saying because she likes I freaky mean, I like parties. I freak shit. However, reading deeper into it, I don't like that there was, I mean, damn near forced intoxication that included drugs. And abuse. And abuse and all the other Horse things. Horse trank, GHB. The, yeah, yeah, no. All of that is not cool. I'm, I'm a little concerned, and, and I haven't heard many people speak about this regarding the Diddy thing, is... For all of the victims that came out, there was conversations about these people being sex workers, Mm -hmm. these people being paid. And so once we really get into the crux of everything, I don't think society 
realistically has the empathy for sex workers. Mm -hmm. They assume that because they were paid and they knew they were going for this freak off that they, you know, they got money. They knew what they were going for. And I've right. seen that kind of response regarding sex work and the treatment of sex workers. Yeah. And so when we get into, I mean, of course there's the celebrity aspect of it. Right. And mm -hmm. the, the balance of, and shift of power, power and all of that. Yeah. But to me, it's for the people that were paid and came in to do it. If, the justice system and the public actually mm -hmm. views them as victims. I do, I do want people to broaden the scope when it comes to sex work. Sex work is viewed as a business mm -hmm. in other areas of the world. Like in the United States, it's been shunned upon unless you go to Vegas for the most part. Right. Or it's like, mm -hmm. um, it's like the black market is the underground market, right? Nobody is really educating you on sex work yeah. and the levels of sex work. I am on horrible decisions. Thank you for that. We need that. So give us the education. Are you no, a you're not well, a sex worker? No. Well, you know what's you. crazy? No. I would be identified as a sex worker. Explain. Because so sex workers could be strippers. Yes. It could be sugar babies. It could be any form of which there's a transactional thing taking place Got you. between two people. Like mm -hmm. if you're on the internet selling feet pictures, That's sex you work. are a sex worker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though you're not engaging in penetrative sex. Like there's a lot of like you know, there's a hierarchy. Y'all know the fucking food pyramid. Mm -hmm. There's a sex work pyramid too. <laughs> like there's, there's a hierarchy of it, but what you were saying actually isn't true. Like there are a lot of women in those other countries that would be shunned by their own societies for their, they would. for what they do. And a lot of it is for survival, but a, like, and a, a lot, lot of, of those it's survival countries, sex, but a lot of it, it's, it's legal there. Right? And that's kind of wanted to ask you. Oh, Prostitution is illegal in most States here, right? Maybe? In most States. Right. Yeah. I mean, of course you could go to the brothels and things like sure, that. Sure. I think that, and that's the problem. I like, what is it? Fa uh, Falsesta. Mm. There, there's, there's been a lot of laws they've been trying to put into place to make sex work safer gotcha. for sex workers. It is the oldest profession. My nigga, this ain't new. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's always been there. It's always been there. Yo, my I God. Don't he, hold you. Oh no, my he God. was curing no. the sinners. This is blasphemy. And watch him out. Nah, back in the day, somebody was buying that shit. <laughs> no, no, he, he was. No. I ain't say yeah. Tell him. Tell him. Y'all really thought he died and resurrected? That nigga was in a brothel. No, oh he wasn't. God. He was getting. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't say that about my father, son. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Lord, forgive Yo, my father. Don't, don't say that about my father. Okay. Okay. It's hard. He can't he take was, this right now. He was, he was at a freak off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, he went to go anoint them. His disciples. He was turning to water. I ain't going to lie. They was a little fishy. <laughs> don't, do that. don't do that. Yeah, they was a little fi. Uh, <laughs> yo, bro. What? Why are we taking here? Well, who who did this? Oh. No, I was just talking about just just the precautions around sex work in general. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you was talking about how the sex workers at these alleged freak offs have no empathy. People aren't empathizing with them no. because they're like, oh, you got paid for sex, this and that. But I think we just aren't educated enough. It's it's not only that. There's no like people assume. Okay, I'm paying you to be here. You have to do whatever, whatever I yeah. say you do. That is not the case. A sex worker can have her boundaries. A sex worker can say sh what she will or he or she will or will not do. Yeah. And I guarantee you a lot of sex workers don't go in wanting to be incapacitated with by being drugged mm -hmm. and not know what's happening to them to where they have to shoot up IVs the next day mm -hmm. to come back to, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So I think, again... A sex worker, whether being paid or not, can say, yeah, no, you can fuck me here and here, but not there. Like, mm -hmm. there, there's boundaries. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that that's the problem. Not only was there probably a crossing of hella boundaries with this, bro, he was filming hella people without their consent. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. I'm trying to protect. Yeah, we just got to say it. Allegedly. Yeah, we got a studio now. Well, 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 we do know, <laughs> well, we do know within the, the, the indictment that yeah. that is a part of what was seized mm -hmm. yeah. by- Footage. You know what I mean? Hours and hours of footage, yo. Damn, I can't. Oh my gosh. These and, and that's what, have y'all heard that though? That what? someone no, I heard. is shopping around yeah. a video right oh, yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And they that. don't know who's in it, but they're the reason why A it hasn't been given to the FBI. It's someone else who has it. But the reason why no one has really wanted to publish it is because they can't tell the age of the boy in the video. Oh my god. And there's been speculations on who it may or may not be. Mm -hmm. And to That's me, terrible. well, it's it's weird though because I don't know how that will ever go anywhere. Right. Because it's like, that's basically I'm, considered child porn. Not, it's not, which is weird because, yeah. baby, I was 12 looking at R. Kelly piss on a 14 year old. Yeah, I'm and, yeah. and they just was like, yeah. That bitch was fast. But it was you more, it was crazy. Whole, it was a different, a different era. era. It's a whole different era. era. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> okay, now this is my, this might be some, some, 
this might be a little shaky. Mm-hmm. I feel like also <laughs> not, not anything until now. Facts, nothing else. She was talking about nothing Jesus, else, but, but now she's like, wait, guys, let's try I lightly also here. Feel like, to be fair, and not to sound like a misogynist, feminist, whatever the fuck y'all oh want to label Andy, what is, about to say? buckle up. <laughs> I feel like also the reason isn't that that there's an age, it's that it's a boy, and I feel like there's a huge still stigma or mm-hmm. protection around the sexuality of these powerful men. Mm-hmm. I think that they don't want to align homosexuality with certain powers and means and. To be clear, a lot of people still don't want to see two boys have sex. Now, that's the porn I like. But a lot of people don't want to watch that. And so the fact that if we're even comparing... Girl, girl, what, no, because... I'm the, just saying... The shit you just be slipping <laughs> no, in there. Like, like, she just has to slip yeah. in there. I mean, I like that shit. That's I like shit. that shit. But if we're talking about eras, I think it's easier for society to view mm-hmm. a 14-year-old girl as being fast than an underage boy as being fast in this type of capacity. And in, and you're using that in comparison to like the whole R. Kelly thing, of course. The, comparing it to the R. Kelly video that yeah. was being played in fucking barbershops and online. Uh, and yeah. I feel like there was ringtones of the pss coming out of his dick. Like, yeah. you know, we had a little chirp, chirp like back Like everyone then. knew about everyone it. Everyone knew about it. Yeah, and so sure. I think the fact that it's homosexuality in this video. That, I don't that's think it's thing. just that. I also think they, they keep saying that the subject in that video is somebody who's famous. Yeah. They keep alluding that it may be like, an A-lister. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a very high Okay, we know who th- we, it may be, guys. Calm down. All right. I don't. All right. That's what this. That's like, it could be a lot of people. I don't. I don't know. Oh, oh, you, it could be a lot of oh, people. Oh, that's your favorite. I mean, you know that you. Think there there's is like, not a lot of A-listers. You think there's like one person that people. I think it's like, one or two. You love this. I mean, we love this. If you want to believe it, I think it's one or two. It's either. I'm not gonna hold you. I love him. Seeing all the footage of him. Yeah. It. It's disheartening. It's disheartening. Is. Yeah, it's a happened. completely. It's a, he's a shell of himself. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Every time I deal with a woman and she runs to Jesus, I'm like, damn, what you been through before <laughs> I was fucking with you? That yeah. is crazy. That's, he ran to that's Jesus. That's crazy. That's crazy, Savon. But he did run to Jesus. Yeah. And most people hey, that go, go through to things, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. But but oh, you're right. But a lot of times we run to God and Jesus when a tumultuous moment happens in our life. Yeah, rock, he ain't even rock running. Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Running, yeah. running, is, rock running is a four hundred. He sprinted. He was doing the two hundred. Absolutely. He jetted out of here. What? And it's a lot of things in hindsight too. Like we see the videos. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw this one. This one I saw this morning. There was a video of Diddy and Justin Bieber on the late night show. Mm-hmm. And the anchor or the host was like, hey, so how was it hanging out with Diddy? Yeah. And then Diddy interjected and answered for Justin Bieber oh. and was like, nah, he know better than to talk yeah. about what happened with Big Bro Puff at yeah, the party. Yeah. I think it was He know better. Yeah. He better yeah. not speak on that. And I'm paraphrasing, but- it seemed like an underlying threat on national TV to Justin Bieber at that time. Now, again, everything is 2020 in hindsight. We don't know, but we can use our thinking caps and Diddy looks weird. I, I, I really hope not. Just know, like, I, I pray, pray. I do pray for yeah. all of the victims in this. I hate, too, that there's still questioning of what really took place. Because, again, we even questioned until we saw the video of Cassie. Her mm-hmm. allegations. So I, I just hate that people are like, no, everyone's trying to sue him, bro. Mm-hmm. People have been saying this. But you Aubrey know what? Pe- saying, like, people were saying it about this. Kells, right? But the trial, like this is the beginning of all of this. This is gonna mm-hmm. go on for years. Yeah. You think? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I think so. Yeah. For sure. You know how like it gradually took R. Kelly to finally get indicted and he yeah. finally was. Yeah. This and is gonna take being a while. Revealed yeah. And like all that. Do you know how <laughs> crazy well, all that I trial? Know is I need. I need the the YSL. To stop, so this can. Oh, that's start. gonna be done in like, a second. I don't want this to go. That's gonna be done in a second. I'm, I'm so ready for him to come out free, th- free Jeffrey. Thug is gonna be home soon. I ain't gonna lie. The whole thing I is a it. mess. The judge over there is upset with the trial in the case. That's yeah. upset. You know, it's funny you bring up different states. I'm actually glad you're here with us, oh, and I'm oh, praying. Yeah, let's it. do that. Yeah, yes, I want to so pray sorry. for the state of Florida right yeah, right now at the time of this yeah, recording. Yeah. Hurricane uh, season, right? Crazy hurricane, transition, but... hurricane Milton. Cat five. Uh, category five. Yeah. I've been Jesus. talking to all my friends and family down there. Like that's where they're all at. Yeah. And um, I'm scared. I'm mad them hoes didn't evacuate, but. You know, my mama half white. I just told her don't sit outside trying to look at the storm because she loved doing that yeah. shit. I'm from Florida. Listen, is that some Florida shit? No, no. this is supposed to be serious. No, no, no. no. There used no. to be hurricane parties. Like I was gonna ask you that. That really? was one of my questions. No, like when you live in Florida, like you you deal with so many hurricanes. This one, that's why it's like <laughs> them talking about the danger. I don't real quick too because for anyone who isn't aware of how serious this is, do you have the clip? Yeah, I sent it to, with the, the weatherman. Yeah, with the like, and he's, yeah. I feel like we in one of them like 
sci-fi movies where it's the end of the world. I've never seen this happen for any like to, for him to show like that much emotion. Any, any meteorologist to show emotion, right. and cry yeah. to talk about a storm. If, if you could play the clip, too. yeah, it's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised because Florida, y'all be doing some really interesting things. Nah, you so, yeah, like, you know it's bad when the weatherman kid. Incredible, care. incredible hurricane. Uh, it has dropped. Look at this. It has dropped 50 millibars. Mega. In 10 hours. He crying. Wow. Um, On the news. I apologize. This is just. Jesus Christ. Um, winds, maximum sustained winds are 160 miles per hour. And um, it uh, it is just uh, gaining strength in the Gulf of Mexico. Where and so. The storm, not to cut you off, Mandy, I yeah, want to add this too. The storm yeah. surge for Hurricane Milton is expected to be 15 feet. Yeah. You know what 15 I, feet is? I, I do want to state that this is happening. We're recording this on the Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. By the time it's the storm is supposed to hit, it's tomorrow. supposed to yeah. yeah. So oh, man, uh, we Thursday. may be retroactively speaking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we may be speaking from a place where this hasn't taken place. Yeah. But we can expect the worst at this point. Yeah. Based on a uh, prayers also to anyone in the Tampa, the the West Central Florida area. So Tampa, Sarasota, Clearwater, everything over there. I'm. I, it's sad. I just saw another uh, another uh, news where the mayor or someone of the city was like, if you are in an evacuation zone and you choose not to evacuate, you will die. Wow. Like, yeah. I've this never so heard crazy. this type of urgency. Mm -hmm. This is like a history breaking size. Um, size, you know, si yeah. yeah. And I've gone through Charlie, I've gone through Andrew, I've gone through Katrina before it mm -hmm. went back into the Gulf and hit but, uh, New but Orleans. What was, like, but what was y'all doing at them hurricane parties? Hurricane parties is like <laughs> literally like you go and get all this this canned food and you get candles and you get flashlights and you get everything. Like oh. we used to board up the windows, tape the windows, and you literally hunker down and just wait. So we just, and, we, and so it would be like you and your family play games or you talk, you kind of prepare for the lights and stuff to go out. Yeah. You get bottles and buckets of water so that you could flush the toilet. Like you literally prepare prepared. to live wow. like you What's, are in a third world country yeah. because that is what happens sometimes. And luckily my mom used to work at the hospital, but people bunker in hospitals. Like mm -hmm. if you're not in the, if you don't deal yeah. with hurricanes yearly, you don't know, but like right. that's a yearly thing. And so to see this, mm -hmm. I'm like mad as hell. Like my family and leave. Yeah. It's really different. And this is, this is catastrophic. So prayers. Yes. And Definitely. I hope that it dissipates by the time this podcast This might be a dumb question. But you know, why not just kind of pick up and go somewhere else? Do you know how many people cannot do that? Yeah, they don't because, have like the resources. They don't have the resources. You don't have the resources. It's expensive. Where are you gonna stay? And then that's another thing. A lot of people have pets. What are they doing with the pets? What are they doing? And a lot of people can't take all of their belongings that they want. It's just so it's not, not realistic. Even yeah. with advance notice, it ain't realistic. So the advance notice sometimes are two days. This mm -hmm. shit became a category five. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard it was like really quick. Like it wasn't it was. like we knew about this for months. No, stuff, yeah. you know about it. It goes from a three to a, now it's a five and now yeah. it's catastrophic. Everybody going to die. And yeah. also like, even like it's the, that quick. the hotel rooms and like the flights. So don't things go up in price or no? All of it. Like, oh, so they've already like, grounded what? flights. You can't leave or go into Jeez, Florida now. This is so like So terrifying. you have to drive. Yeah. See, part of the reason I'm so grateful for us being up north, we have died. Yeah, we get snow. Yeah, but not really anymore. No, no. right? No, yeah. we haven't had snow in two we years. We ain't really had some snow in a while here. Like we, for the most part, it just gets really cold. We've yeah. had some hurricanes though. I remember like living through some hurricanes. Yeah, but not like as bad they, as this, but like they deal with hurricane season. Yeah. We got to deal with right? rats. That's so good. going yeah, on birth control. <laughs> yeah. Now we hey, got. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. We turned into <laughs> Gotham City. Y'all watch the Penguin? Yeah. The mayor, I, I, the I'm mayor of New York City, he turned oh. into a villain. <laughs> he did. So we got other shit to worry about. It's we can't just worry on. about the villain and all that. We got like, yeah. we really fighting crime in this big city. Well, you said he turned into a villain. Eric Adams. Eric Adams. Man, that nigga just took some money under the table, man. Y'all making shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> all these niggas do Don't that. ever oh, trust a man. Bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that ain't the whole You know shit. what? Oh, that's your people. He not. I be, really? I this what we doing? I be seeing what Mandy did. She be uh, in the spots. This what and we doing? Is Councilwoman Mandy? This what we doing? <laughs> Councilwoman Mandy? We not doing this. Nah, I knew not to trust a nigga with one ear in it. First, <laughs> first off, <laughs> we are out here turning celebrities into politicians. Let's be very clear. All these niggas. They he get, was a police chief. 
Wait, he wasn't a celebrity. Yeah, he was a police. No, chief. what I'm saying is yeah. we've had the we're, we're turning gotcha. other, for other states and all these things. Yeah. We are turning literal celebrities like, like, a, like a, Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, right. Donald, Donald Trump, 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 right, right, into our politicians. Yeah. Why y'all surprised a nigga just accepting a little cash underneath the table and some first class fight? Well, you know, <laughs> you know like, no. because as a government <laughs> official, you can't do that. And, <laughs> and, and and when you are, and I hate to do this, but when you're a black man. Yep. And you're in this position, you gotta you held to a different type of standard. Let's be very you, clear. You can't. And I'm not they saying everybody do what the white man do. No, you're right. I'm not saying everybody doesn't do it, and I'm not a politician, so I don't want to even speak to that. Yeah. But Allegedly. it it does come with a different type of pressure. Yeah. Shout out to Dinkin. Who? That was the, <laughs> that's the other. That's that was the other, other one, one back in the '80s, '90s. Yeah. Oh no, there's a one recently too that just got oh, in what? trouble. Yeah. Damn, What's his name? What's the I don't know. Dinkin. Oh, I'm Dinkin. talking about Ain't Dinkin. Ain't you screaming? Get your shit going. Oh, that's my fault. Yo, that's my old life. Chill out, twin. Dinkin. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my old life. We're closing Billy? chapters. Yeah, he might snuff you. Oh, yeah. We're oh, growing. Yeah. Like, oh, no, yeah. Yo, like, he, chill out, huh? Like, like, hey, yeah, we Andrew, had some shit. Andrew Cuomo? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, not Cuomo. Uh, there was there was another black mayor know. recently that just got indicted as well for su- David Dinkins in, in Baltimore David or something. Dinkins. I think, okay. but it's crazy because they for always Detroit. say <laughs> with great power Reggie. comes great responsibility. So you do have to carry yourself in a different way, yeah. especially in politics as a person of color. With that being said, it's only right. Mandy's here. We got um, Kamala Harris yes. on yes. the Call Her Daddy podcast. Yes. Now I think it's right. a perfect person to speak to. Mm-hmm. When pop culture, entertainment, podcast in particular, mm-hmm. meets politics and a powerful black woman who is also running for president. We haven't seen anything like this. Um, no. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask your thoughts on it because a lot of... Um, What's her name? Cooper? I'm so Alex sorry. Cooper. Alex Cooper. Put about, some respect on the $125 million. Put some respect on Alex's. You know what I mean? $130 million. All right. Put some Whatever. respect on Alex's. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's Alex, the big one. The All big one. Alex. Not the little one. <laughs> big Alex. Uh, so so I, I do want to add to... So the VP didn't just go on Call Her Daddy. She also was a guest on All The Smoke. The View. Uh, shout out to Black Effect. Mm-hmm. That's what... Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson also going to Howard Stern, also went to The View, also going to Colbert. I think you can't reach everybody with linear television anymore. Right. So I think it just makes the most sense. Yeah. I will also say I'm also intrigued, maybe because of the landscape of podcasting and social media. Mm-hmm. To be fair, a lot of people also want to feel as though we know the people we're voting for. Absolutely. So this long form content where it's not just asking about policy mm-hmm. allows us to see the to see mm-hmm. who they are more i'm not gonna lie i have absolutely grown to love kamala over the last couple weeks because I'm tapped in. Yep. because i ain't gonna hold you the bitch yep. been quiet for a long time <laughs> I was about to, sorry I was about to say. I, hey, hey i fuck with you but i was I mean, like where you at we see her now and she's know. she's so great a lot of people have been saying like oh my god she didn't do anything as a vp she didn't do anything as a vp but i'm glad because i watched the call her daddy interview like people have asked her what she has done as vp for the past four years and she's done a lot it's just that we haven't been paying attention no no right? no i didn't say she ain't doing nothing okay okay, okay. i said the bitch ain't been had... talking oh, but you didn't say that okay <laughs> but right, now, right, but right, now right. usually how to have because, like, her you job, know what i mean her yeah. job is just to support biden yeah so yeah. that's why she, she hasn't been the star so she's been strategically more visible especially because from the time this recording her election is probably like a month or so out it's i'm not gonna lie she's so likable uh i i enjoyed her she spoke about what she intends, like she spoke a lot about the black community with all the smoke. Mm -hmm. She spoke to women's rights and like she shared a story about her friend that was being sexually abused that Mm -hmm. she let move into her home. And Mm -hmm. she was really like bigging up Alex for having these types of conversations, Mm -hmm. which we also have on Horrible Decisions. But it was just really dope that to see her in that form. And allegedly she was like, you have 40 minutes to ask me whatever you want, Mm -hmm. baby celebrities don't do that you yeah. know what i mean so yeah. i thought that that was great i like mm-hmm. it i like this for us mm-hmm. but i also yeah, like podcasts. to be able to see our candidates be personable and yeah. not robots and not show some personality pe- you know what i mean right. or, or we actually get to know them as people i would have loved to see more of obama prior because that was the first president i got to vote for mm-hmm. i would have loved to see you know more of his personality we he just had charm he charmed us mm-hmm. how, do, how do you feel about um podcasters having political figures on their platform is it a cosign 
right? Because we've been presented with opportunities to promote certain candidates on the podcast. Now, mm -hmm. being that we're black and our demographic is probably a certain, um, we, we can assume our demographic, right? Mm -hmm. You can probably assume who's yeah. reached out to us to say, hey, we want to promote on your podcast, right? We've had internal discussions where it's like, hey, yay, nay, or indifferent, mm -hmm. because we don't want to influence anybody or some of the, personally, I'll speak for myself. Right. I believe in the business of let's not get into politics. But when you have a candidate in this magnitude, in this situation on your show, is that an automatic endorsement? How do you combat that? Because Alex Cooper, she lost a lot of followers. There was a so lot much of backlash. backlash. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok went crazy really? on her. There was yeah. a lot of deep dives. I'll say, and, and her audience is her like demo a, is yeah. Caucasian. Do you no? see? Do you see how she also tried to me? Really enjoyed her interview. I don't like how I think she tried to lean into her audience. So she posted a TikTok about how Why she did it. No, she oh. posted a whole TikTok about how Kamala actually canceled on her the first day. So they oh. set up a whole set, did all this, and then got, got canceled on last minute. But it's because also my grandmother, it, you know, shout out to everyone still dealing with everything in Asheville coming out of that hurricane but she had to go to deal with what yeah, happened in, in north carolina with the hurricane right. so i think to me her posting that oh we did all this work and the vp canceled it was to me in poor taste i thought she posted that because there was a lot of backlash like look kamala is like doing all these podcast interviews while people are suffering in Asheville and then call her daddy posted like no actually she actually, canceled, she on, canceled on us to go okay. to those people I feel and, like okay, that's why that's she posted why she it. Did and, it and it might have been out of her hands like you mentioned Howard Stern is Howard also Stern too speaking is, to Kamala well, yeah. and at work I have ran into Secret Service members okay and it's it, they're taking it seriously they're scoping the, the scene they're seeing who's what what's where let me ask you so a lot you, that goes into that let process. me ask you you have me on your show for sure and you and your whole audience don't agree with anything I have to say. <laughs> um, so I don't think you're endorsing me. I think we have to be gotcha. open to sitting with people that we do not agree with. Like, I would love to sit across from Dr. Umar. That does not mean I endorse him because I bring him onto my platform for a conversation. I think, of course, I would love, and which I do know that Alex Cooper said, hey, my team has also invited Trump to sit with me. I was going to say that, I yeah. want to let you know I am not endorsing, but I think... With my voice, with my platform, in such an important election year, yeah. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Bitch, Trump wanna sit with me, I will. Like, mm -hmm. I absolutely think that we, opposing voices, yeah. should be able to have those conversations. And, like, Trump ain't going on Roland Martin. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, we not seeing Trump go sit with or certain even, people. Or, or you even know when, what they, mean? when they visit opposite news channels, right? Like, a Democratic channel might sit down with a Republican candidate or party, but that doesn't mean they might side with but, them, but, but they still get both sides. I also yeah. give kudos to Steven Jackson, Matt Barnes, uh, Alex Cooper, everyone that are podcasters that aren't necessarily journalists first, mm -hmm. that have been able to create an environment where they can be unbiased. Yeah. They al Alex allowed Kamala to get her shit sure. off. And it wasn't a badgering thing. That's another thing. It when you don't it. like somebody, you want to fucking antagonize them so bad that the interview becomes awful. Have y'all been watching that like 20 versus 1 thing it's that's been going viral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch everything. I watch the one like in Jamaican. When, uh, a lot of people don't actually know how to engage in a healthy debate or conversation. It mm -hmm. wasn't like the the call her daddy interview wasn't like a gotcha. Like they want to catch uh, Kamala in a gotcha moment ever. Like they really just want to learn about her. That's the best way to do it. Because now when people come in, they can be like, all right, cool. No matter how I feel about something, I can at least learn something. No, no, no. You ain't even got to learn something from yeah. everybody. Let's be very clear. Niggas be trying to teach me. If I don't agree with you, <laughs> I don't agree cool. with you. Yeah. But there's a way to have a we can agree to disagree or a conversation where I can ask you a question. If it's a platform, your answer is sometimes for the audience. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to try to convince right. me yeah. that you, what, your, what your views on something Absolutely. is well, or out, that you are right. Shout out to uh, Steven Jackson because he said he was even apprehensive to Kamala going on really? all the smoke. He wasn't a fan of having her on the because he's like, yo, I want to keep politics out of oh, this product. He yeah. said, I'm voting. No, I'm just saying. Matt Barnes. <laughs> I don't know what that nigga voted for. He said, I got money. Y'all know what I'm voting for. <laughs> Matt so Barnes was there. like, yo, we. this is important because of your role, yeah. especially being associated with the George Floyd protest. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was so close to George. Yes, Alex, they were friends. Yeah, yeah. They, they were friends. Mm -hmm. And once you took a stand and once you spoke up, once you used your voice and your platform, you became political by default. 
Yeah. Right? It's true. And so I do think it's important to have these type of figures. But I was always curious because I think that it is tricky. Even if I have somebody I don't agree with, let's say, um, I don't even fucking know. Let's just say we had anybody that maybe I don't see eye to eye Trump? with. I'm not going to no. say, I don't want to, again, I don't want to make it political. Okay, okay. I really, uh, that's just who I am. Charles I don't White. Make, who that? Uh, Charleston White. 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 Is, it has to be you're support. Giving, you're giving so them then, your so platform. Then, so then let me ask you, yeah. just, and we don't have to stay here long, we saw Star and Jaguar White, Port, Pierce Morgan and yeah. Jaguar White, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They may not even agree and we're just giving her the platform, their big platform, mm -hmm. to have a discussion. Clearly the one with Star mm -hmm. went completely fucking left. Yeah, quickly. But just because they were on didn't mean that they were endorsing her at all or promoting her at all. Yeah. Sometimes you do want to just be able to have those conversations. Right. That's the word. I think promote and endorse is a little bit different. Okay, there right? we go. I'm not going to endorse somebody. Just because you're on the podcast doesn't mean I endorse you, but I am promoting you regardless. Mm -hmm. Pierce Morgan you're, has you're an audience. You're it's, promoting her or nah, uh, because it's, it's, it's or, 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 or what is it not a transactional thing where if someone but if somebody is going viral if someone has certain takes let's be very clear y'all book certain people knowing you're going to get certain numbers in a return as well mm -hmm. that's why we had I think the conversation we had last time was Marlon Wayne's on Vlad yeah. mm -hmm. so it mm -hmm. is still an exchange if someone is going viral or have these talks where I think damn I'm going to go Pierce Morgan, we ain't talked about that nigga. He ain't even a nigga. We ain't talked about the crack in a long time. Yeah. So <laughs> let me check that. So yeah, so, but now we're talking about him because there was that cross mm -hmm. cross promotion. Yeah. But then you is also, what it is, but right? in that same instance, we see Pierce Morgan had to retract that. Yeah. A few days later, he went on his platform and apologized for having Jaguar right on his platform. Real quick, was that live? Is that why it wasn't, like, is that why it got released? Or did it, I'm not, was uh, it pre-recorded? No, it wasn't live, it was pre-recorded. Um, and he didn't apologize. He he just basically said, hey, like, Jaguar Wright, Wright said some things and we got a cease and desist, basically. Mm. So he only words, said that because they got yeah, a cease see, and desist. Yeah, because like after they released the interview, they edited clips about it. They put all oh, the bells yeah. and whistles. That's, why, that's, they why, put whistles that's why I called cap on that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not apologizing. You're mad you got a cease and desist. Yeah. So that makes sense why the cease and desist went to Pierce and not mm -hmm. Jaguar. And yeah. Pierce and his team, the producers, they know what her name does on YouTube and what she's yeah, been but, a part of but as that's a recent. Why, but that's why... Transactional. But... She's the one who keeps talking, but Pierce got that cease and desist. Mm -hmm. That's his platform. Well, exactly. no, 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 no. That's because Pierce got money. What you gonna get from motherfucking Jaguar Skittles? <laughs> he got something. You, you say like, he got something to lose. You send a cease and desist to a person that has nothing to lose. Skittles is crazy. You can, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I love but you, Skittles. but you do the see tropical it. kind too. You gonna get the a little purple ones. pack out of her. You send it to somebody you want to shut the fuck up, mm -hmm. even Regardless. if they pop. Oh That's yeah, no, I'm telling you, I've sent cease and desist. Oh, and they don't cease and desist. <laughs> and okay, damn, what am I gonna do? Sue a broke bitch? You can't sue someone who doesn't have anything. It'll cost you more. It'll to cost. Sue them. And I've been on that battle line where I'm just like, do I spend money to sue someone that I'm not gonna get money from, mm -hmm. or do I just sit and take it? Because baby, I've sent couple cease and desist mm -hmm. that went ignored and when i thought about it or went to seek the legal route yeah. it's like bro i'm gonna pay you more than i'm even gonna get from her just to shut her ass up because she ain't got shit <laughs> i want to do that one day like you'll be hearing from my lawyer oh, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna hold you but i never get into shit y'all so, like, better not know. let me get cardi b money because them the type of lawyers i'm gonna have -wee. i'm gonna be on cardi and 50 cent time everybody be on hush hush uh, but i mean i just uh, i'm i'm going back and forth with like so even in like a journalist lens I fully respect like having a problematic figure on your show mm -hmm. just to have that conversation. Like even Elliot Wilson has talked about it where like if he talks to like a problematic rapper, he's like, no, like I'm allowing them to tell their story as well. I'm researching it with them and like documenting it. Yeah. But also on the other end, I'm like, I, do I want this problematic ass person sitting next to me and I'm giving them the platform to say incorrect things, lies, problematic, like racist things. Like You got to get a screen man. Or I mean, like, yo, you good today? <laughs> no, yeah. Don't dap me, nigga. Don't dap me, nigga. Are you good? Yo, 
<laughs> no. She said it twice. No, but even no, even no, if, dead ass. You just no, fact check that nigga. Right? No, this is the thing. Let's say, let's say not even like misinformation. I don't care if we have a researcher. Let's say they're spewing Ooh, hatred. Researcher. Like name five. Uh, like me, hatred. Like, like I'm like, five. do am I really giving them the platform? To I mean, do no. That? Let's like, be very clear. I spewed hatred last episode that y'all <laughs> edited out. Y'all have y'all can yeah. edit out <laughs> hatred. Like yeah. that's where when we have the conversation <laughs> and we don't have to get into it because I said I didn't want to get into it. That was the conversation even around shits and gigs and Andrew Schultz and all the things yeah like if you have and we know because andrew said they asked for certain things to be edited and it wasn't the hatred things that were said towards black women so mm -hmm. when you have your platform mm -hmm. if things are said like we have people come on our platform all the time using the f word we don't allow the f word oh. we're gonna bleep that out so Rise people still say that they're still, they're it's still, coming they're, yes. still, they're trying that? to bring it back oh it's, it's they're scary trying to bring that there. back they're i ain't gonna lie there is a word i'm trying to bring back but after don't COVID, say it here. Wait, wait, wait. Say it on your shit. We can put it out. Wait, hold up. Not say it on your shit. I want to just converse with my nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. It's start with an R. And Glorilla what? had to change the word. I want to bring that word back. That's my what? shit. I ain't gonna I lie. Say, baby, I want oh, that word here. I have a remix for that. I like that. You ready? Shit. Yeah, what right. is it? You recessive chromosome. Nah, that's too much. Nah, nah, nah. nah. It doesn't matter. I don't like either. It don't, it don't hit the same it's, as. It's remedial. All right, so listen. No, it's not word. remedial. I don't like it because that community can't defend themselves. So they I don't, like, I don't I, like saying yes, that. I, don't, I never say that word about Time out. Manny's like, please. That's a Time out. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Nigga, they hit hard. <laughs> Pierre, yeah. I need you to get an okay from Karen. Who's doing the timestamps? Is Dre doing the timestamps? <laughs> oh, he about to go blow. He about to say all the bad words, the naughty words. He about to blow it up. He said he's bleeping everything anyway. All right, cool. No, we didn't say anything. Nah, because I got to give context to this conversation. Conversation yeah, yeah. I feel personally <laughs> like go. I could bring back the word. There you go. I want no, it. You can't, you can't bring it back. Don't bring it back. No, here. no, no. Say what? You could say it, yeah. but you're not gonna not. single handedly bring it back. No, Glow really like, tried to bring it back, and you know, that bitch changed the lyric. You know what word I want to bring back? I call myself that. Oh, they, I don't think that's no, as bad. No, 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 no. We have to bleep. That's derogatory now? The, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Small people is the, is the term? You got little people. Little person. Little people. Oh, oh, my person. fault, y'all. No, then you got to say little person. No, no, no. Oh. No. Have, have you ever seen... Why are you <laughs> have always you? on the take of that? That, you know, he that like, sound like that's his kink. Yo. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, nah what was you at when you seen them fucking... Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. That ass be fat. Bro, it was three weeks ago. That thing be jiggling. It was three weeks ago. With the proportions, you got it got to be fat. What was you at three weeks ago? Wait, you just saw... Fuck three, bro. Three weeks ago, I never yo. seen nobody take no dick like this in my life. Yo, Save on. It was, she was trying to Get overcompensate out. for her handicap. Get out. I said, damn, why you take that dick, bro? <laughs> what I always wonder though. Get out. How they suck dick? Cause they head big. It's kind of heavy. You like, know what? The both y'all get the fuck out. Right now. The both of y'all get the fuck out right yo, now. Yo, okay. You are okay. hearing his stitches saying, back here. You, you got our producer and shambles <laughs> back there. You got our producers and shit was back in the two y'all. Poor producer back there losing his shit. You know yo. he's getting red. Y'all ain't ever wondered how they have to go like this. Now we gotta bring Mandy. I go out. <laughs> if we just get one of those two words back, I think we'd be a comic. That's it. Yo, I'm That's just for the record, I'm clipping this. So you about no, to go viral again. Yeah, no, no I'll be, I'll be, I'll be not clipping this. If they listen to this, they deserve it because they listened to the whole episode, but no clips. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, but I just want to ask like, on to, to my friends to my left and right. Like what like it's, does it bring you <laughs> happiness to say these derogatory terms yes. or what? Okay, you know what but I why? Okay, like, no no no. First off, I think it's nostalgic. We are millennials. Yeah, we're millennials. I was about to say this shit was said very often growing up mm -hmm. and I think that the pendulum has swung so far into sensitivity that I just want to shove it up their ass. Do you, wait, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Did y'all know you can't say Columbus Day? Wait, oh, it's, what? It's, 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 it's indigenous, indigenous people's indigenous, day. Yeah, yeah. No, Wait, excuse I'm with that. me. They took First off, Columbus Day is my birthday weekend, nigga. He's a liar. Three, been a three day weekend Facts. for my whole life. Well, that's that's all right. Of, that's, no, you, you, still, that. you, still you still get, get the weekend. You still yeah, get facts. the day, but yeah. you can't. It's not phrased or it's not called. The coin phrase is not Columbus Day. Wait, but that is mad old, though. It's, it's not, 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 not. It's Since new to me. <laughs> Say, Vaughn, that should not new to you. We all know this. No, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know that they did that. They. I have been like six years now. I have been calling it Columbus Day for the last. 30 years He's it's still columbus son. day on the calendars like that aren't in your phone the ones on paper still say columbus day they, they're bank I holidays they do. but who uses paper calendars though 
Yeah. Baby, they be pretty. <laughs> I love them too. Nah, they, so you, still, you still get the credit for it. You still get the day off. Everybody, banks, all that shit is closed. Yeah. But they changed the name. It's no longer Columbus cool. Day. That nigga ain't find us anyway. But because He's it's insensitive. I was just talking to the point of why I feel like I'm stuck in a certain time capsule. It's because I can't even say Columbus Day. No, we're in a new, mm, we're in a new capsule. It is, very, it is very sensitive. But I just like, I don't know. I get it's nostalgic and it like hits different when you say these certain terms. But I'm just like, that would be like, me being like really hell bent on saying like a racial term. It's like, why does that bring you joy? Like, why? It's not that it brings it joy. Like, and I'm gonna be real honest. I'm a dead ass. You're be like, honest. you want to bring this word back? So you He's fighting for it too. And you have Look, a family. We're trying to move like, on. He keep advocating we don't, for we don't it. Care, so now we don't care about the First Amendment. Oh, oh my God, my God. Andy. Oh, Andy. Okay, Andy. Okay, Andy. Andy. Let's clip this. Okay, so let's clip this. Like, like we but literally you, fight for I the know, freedom to speak and share our thoughts and our opinions. Unfortunately, and we understand that. And we don't like that Elon is out here censoring. censoring. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about, like the Press fact that this country is so dope. Because now, do I like a lot of y'all niggas' opinions and shit? <laughs> no, I don't like it. But you can't have it both I understand. Ways. I can't have it both ways, and so I'm not mad. I get to not only make a living, a very good living, mm -hmm. on sharing my opinions due to my experience on living on this earth. Everyone kind of has that opportunity, unless it's, it, of course, becomes harmful and, and dangerous. Oh, but I, I want to be but clear. It's not harmful be, and wanna... dangerous saying all the time. No, not the way we say it, though. That's you know what I mean? It depends hey, the context. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. And will. No, no, no I'm, I want to be clear here. I'm not going to hinder you or restrict you. Or restrict you. Say, Vaughn, I might restrict you. We in business together, so you shut <laughs> your ass up. We might lose some ad dollars. But you can say whatever you want. It's like, man, no, the thing is, it. though, you got to deal with the repercussions mm -hmm. from the climate of the era you in. That's it. You mm -hmm. can say it. Like, say it. That's like the be white our, people that our, say nigga when black guest. people not around? Yeah, like, be our guest, but, like, people can, people do have the right to be offended. To feel away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Everyone yeah. has the right to have feelings mm -hmm. and feel away. <laughs> I would hope so. You can feel however you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you I don't what? have to care. I gotta have an interview with Save on. <laughs> I gotta talk to that nigga and be like, why you don't like this? You and want you want the nigga or a woman? <laughs> like, which one you want to... They have Same different one. experiences. The, the, the nigga or the woman is crazy. What? They, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what? Wait, what are we talking about? And this is crazy. What? All, they all built the same. What you mean by that? What did you mean by that? The men be having dunk too. That they thick. They all got no, fat asses. That ass is. I think there's that diversity in the little person community. <laughs> but They're not all was, the same. But where was you at when you saw them fucking? Because you said she was getting digged out. Not nah, Twitter. Oh all no! Right. Oh, that's where I watch all we my need porn. To, we need to change your algorithms. Yeah. Right. Nah, I'm gonna start sending you shit. And one time I saw, a, <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a, a, a small person. He's still going. I fucked up. I saw a small. <laughs> his dick was bigger than his leg. Save on. Get out. Wait for real. I don't I believe you, bro. How can he walk? Can you can we get a group chat? Can you send that, that the next rush. time you see it? Pause. We we got save on sending <laughs> sending a little person. Look at y'all cookies. Crazy. Look at y'all cookies. <laughs> Look at y'all cookies history. I think I could have like done an episode. Did you pause yourself? This info, the like, fact that you were really yeah. looking at his dick being bigger than his like because you were examining it then weren't you? No, Savon? I just was on the page. How long did you stare at free. it? Mm. I just seen it. It was a glimpse. It was a preview. <laughs> you see my man? Look, look. It was a preview. It was a only pre a preview. I didn't but know. But you knew that it was the same size as his leg? That sounded like you was examining it. No, I, I wanted to see <laughs> Shorty. At least six seconds. He was staring. <laughs> like, am I looking at the leg or the dick? Well, <laughs> Which one is it? There's three legs there. What are we doing? you never been impressed. <laughs> what are we doing? you never been impressed. <laughs> Yo, McDonald's just called and canceled all the ads on I see, this I was episode. like, hey, I'm not a hater. I'm a lot of things, okay, but I'm, I'm not sorry, a hater. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this yeah. all goes on Patreon. Now, you see, Vaughn, funny. That nigga said, Yo, you ever been impressed? <laughs> Yeah, no, I've been scared. That's like, honesty. Now, where that's finna go? Because it's like one of those things. It's like with Stevie Wonder, right? Uh, people assume. Wait, with Stevie oh Wonder, God. where are we going? Not, people assume. Now I'm with you. Keep going. People assume when you lose one thing, you gain, gain another. another. So Stevie, he lost height, and so it went to his dick. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm with you. He lost some inches, Wait, Stevie, and he gained. Stevie them. Wonder lost his eyesight. He ain't lose nothing to me. Me so neither. I think, see. I think that was fake. I, think that I don't like. You know, he got kids, right? I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, because he's rich. Anybody with money is going to get whatever they want. All right. I saw a clip <laughs> of him he put driving, out his a hand. Car, driving a car, putting his hand around people, looking like he might have glaucoma. What is glaucoma? What did yeah. he do? It's, it's something with it's your eye, eyesight. Eye it's, pressure. it's worse than cataracts, but you really can't see with glaucoma. Mm. With cataracts, you might be able to get a little procedure. Boom, get in there. Don't ask me how I know these things. But. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're well, an hour in and well, we didn't get to no what current What we get to next? No, we did. We talked, we talked about a lot. <laughs> we did. We got to, we 
we got talked to about it. We talked about it a we lot. We got to a little bit. We we finna get to DDG. Yeah. Y'all want to do that? Yeah, let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, cause I'm ready. Uh, y'all go ahead and preface this. This is your right. podcast, but well, I'm ready. I'm gonna fuck Shorty name up, so I ain't saying that. <laughs> That's okay, why you guys. Say so by the time, you come by on, the time you're listening, um, Hallie and DDG have well, DDG officially announced their breakup on Instagram, like a long Instagram story. He said it's he official, official, that. official. Since then, he's been on many a podcast talking about it. Uh, Twitter has taken this and t- got an inch, took it a mile. Lots of commentary surrounding it. I, when I first saw it, I thought it was a prank. You know, I, I don't know. I just didn't think that they would uh, split up. They have a beautiful baby boy, Halo. What do you guys think about the breakup? I mean, niggas I break up every day, B. The announcement. Um, okay, well, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about what Manny wants to talk about it. No, 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 no. no. I, I, should, no, no, no. Should go I ahead. read what no. he said? Yeah, go ahead. Let me read what he said on the story. Dear friends Wait, and supporters. you're a good re- reader? Yeah, okay. he's a great reader. Oh, 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 oh. A key, key, key. Why, why you and you know what? Him? You know what's shit funny in here today, right? <laughs> Next, in a second, I'm going to have you write. I want to see your pen and shit, motherfucker. Oh, don't do me. Yeah, nah, we got to get how to spell I am right a millennial. I uh, can write and in cursive. Don't uh, do me. Fuck. They right, don't even teach cursive anymore. Shit, you right. Oh, my God. Right. But let me read what he's saying. Okay. And I can read very well. <laughs> now she's going to make me nervous. Like, yeah. uh, dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversations, Holly. Hallie. Hallie. Haley. All right, we're going to have to do it. He looked at the wrong nigga. <laughs> like, I looked at you. My full game. I said, wait, hold up. Yo, yo, no, he was like, don't look at me. All right, Reggie, Mandy, what is it? Hallie. Hallie Bailey. Hallie. 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 <laughs> my, sh- my voice don't work correct. Okay, go ahead. Hallie. That's Hallie. Your, that's your Hallie. accent. Hallie. It's okay. Yeah. Hallie is my go. accent. Okay. That's your accent. Hallie and I. Have don't this- pull the... Yeah, I'm not sure it's my accent. <laughs> it's my shit strong. <laughs> Hallie and I have decided to go our separate ways. Uh-huh. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for the both of us. I cherish the time we spent together and the love we've shared. Despite the change in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We are still best friends and adore each other. As we focus on our individual journeys and our roles as co-parents, we cherish the bond we've built and beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love. Love and encouragement, DDG. So um, I think a lot of the reason why people maybe had something to say around this announcement was that <laughs> there was an announcement. Yeah. By him. By him. Yeah, yeah she hasn't does, really said anything. Does anybody else think that is... I mean, I like... I do like believing what people say. Like, I don't want to be like the one that speculated all the time. But I don't know. I thought it was a prank. Like, do people really think that they broke up? Well, it's, oh, yeah. it, it seems like did? recently okay. on his stream, <laughs> he, he hinted that he's not talking to no one. He's not interested in dating anyone. If he has another kid, he wants it to... He doesn't want multiple baby mamas. Yeah. So he's insinuating that there could be a way in which they get back together. Um, so it is giving that she broke up with him. I ain't gonna um, lie to and, <laughs> and that could be maybe why he's talking. This could just be a heartbroken man. Y'all act like y'all don't be heartbroken from breakups, but that's what it's given. I'll be fucked um, up. I think the internet is really weird. I'll be crying. I, I know that. I, no, wait, hold up, man. What? We ain't gonna just nah, skip over You can't just skip what? over that. I'll be fucked up See? over breakups. Me and Twitter be fucked up. We don't eat yeah, shit. What but, do you guys do? Like, do you guys same. like crash out or do you guys just kind of get depressed? Oh, and, like, Cause I, I'm just like a depressed girl. Like, I, don't, I don't go crazy. Like, I just go to my shit. gonna be in the club or talk. That's how you're talking on the internet. Like, do you guys wild out? Like, do you guys blame myself? I blame myself and I sulk. Oh my God. Now what? Yeah, what you do? I sit with my tears, nigga. I fucking lose weight. What are you talking about, nigga? I turn anorexic. Shit, yeah, I do it all. Ribs Ooh, and all. I should do it. Yo, Rushy, please. <laughs> Rushy, please. Just to shed some 10 pounds? I don't know. <laughs> she's, trying to, she's trying to ruin her happy home. I'm going to tough. Brazil next month. I need to, you know, <laughs> get this body together. Take so. a little break. Girl, go ahead, girl, go ahead and get, just get a little shot shot. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Shot. If you want, I could invite your man on the trip with me. Like we just have wow. a gosh. Wow. He's, he's, he's not gonna appreciate this segment. Let's move on. Do you, <laughs> do you what do you do during a breakup, say what? Nah, I just I get real I fuck up. I I, I self sabotage. I know. You like crash out. Yeah, and, and everything I mean, I, is going I, wrong. I think that yeah. that's what this is. I think he's heartbroken, but let's be very clear too. Mm-hmm. This is I mean I'm sure my audience was sick of me crying on my podcast every week when I broke up with my partner and went through a fucking year and a half of Mm -hmm. traumatized healing from that. But Mm -hmm. this is how this man makes money. And I know I know niggas don't believe niggas calling him a bum and shit. DDG. Who's niggas? I was just about to say the internet. Put a name on it. No, No, put a name on it. The initial The Internet. Okay. Oh, I mean, because the oh. internet is strange for sure. But I also feel like 
I'm about to fuck. The honey. internet is Wait, strange. Why you want to say what? It? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, there's a lot of people who just because you don't know who someone is, it doesn't make them a bum. Who is all people? It take, who people, is people? Because this is the internet. Let's be very clear. Cool. There's one Potter who wanted to have his goddamn opinion. We're not going <laughs> to talk about him because more people have shared that same sentiment. Yeah, so, I don't know who he is either. There's me no, neither. Like I didn't know him before dating this but, person. So, you know what I know him for? Changing his voice. So do you want to know what's crazy? <laughs> That's like he, a random thing to he, know. Him he for. is. Kai Sanat's daddy. Let's be very clear. Honestly, in content world. In content world, Guys. he's been doing this. He owns all of his own content. So to even refer to him as a bum, I know we can't lean into networks, right? But even if you look it up, his net worth is double Hallie's on the internet. Let's also talk about Hallie is an artist. Cool. She had Little Mermaid. She got 1.5 million. Then you got fucking management, everyone else to pay out of that. Probably Beyonce got, babies. You know what I mean? Probably got all of 600K from that. She is an artist Yo. whose sister is already saying, hey, guys, I can't give you live shows because no I don't have the budget to do it. Like, as an artist, these they're starving out here. Atlantic just laid off fucking 50 plus artists. Of but all of all of these budgets in the music industry are not what y'all think. Mm -hmm. So Hallie ain't really the breadwinner winner y'all probably think she is. Like, DDG's DDG, a provider. Yeah. He is a provider. Been making money. Been, and, and him... We talking about him now? This is why he's talking. Because you know what? Let me just lean into where I know to make money. Mm -hmm. He's getting clicks, views. People are now going to see, guess what? Who the fuck he is? I bet you his YouTube count his going up. It's Those vlogs, up. it's running up right now. I mean, what what Mandy said about um, Kai said I kind of like following in line with the DDG era. Like, I don't think that's far off, honestly, guys. Like, I'm a YouTube girl. Like, DDG really... He's been around. He's, he's, he's been like around. a pioneer I'm in that familiar. space. And he's rich. rich. What, like, he's what, what, rich. rich. What does DDG stand for? It's his name is Daryl something. J Granberry. Yeah, yeah. Some, it, it's, it's some. It's his, no, <laughs> that's really his name. Yeah, yeah, Granberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah. His, it's his initials. I'm not saying how he's moving in this breakup is like my favorite, but I'm just saying just to the point of like people calling DDG a bum, he's not a bum. Like, but let's it, get that clear, you know? When it, when it comes to the people who's asking who this nigga is, there is a culture. They old as fuck and just don't know. No, it's not that. It's, it's not about age. I don't think it's an ageism thing. I think. Content brings you to so many different places, right? You got people who consume content through Netflix, people who consume content through um, like radio, yeah, uh, you're right. You whatever, like everybody has a different platform that serves them. I think when it comes to DDG, it is more so a age demographic. Yeah. I think it's also what you're into, and then like she gives him or she gave him, in my opinion, cultural equity. Mm. You know what? She I provided agree with that. cultural equity because I know him because of his relationship with her. Yeah. It doesn't take away what he did in his space right. and his lane, but the culture knew who she was and who her sister was, <clears throat> and that provided the platform for them. It's almost like a Russell Wilson and Ciara thing, right? Like I can see the parallels in them, not in the person, not personalities or anything like that, but just the cultural relevance. Ciara gave Russell Wilson the cultural yeah. relevance that he has in the same way that DDG received the cultural relevance from dating her. Well, I That's also, how I see it. And I think, though, that there is a um, apples to oranges comparison when we're talking about cultural influence and money. Right. Yes, because the sure. same Because the for same sure. is can be said about a Russell Wilson and Sierra. Absolutely. Russell Wilson has way more money than mm -hmm. Sierra, but Sierra probably has more of the cultural cachet yeah. because she's been around for the last 20 that's, years. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And so yeah. I think that that's the kind of comparison right now yeah. with, with what we're seeing with Hallie being the Black Little Mermaid. Right. And DDG mm -hmm. being a YouTuber or streamer. And, and the Beyonce cosign. Like, let's not ignore that. Of course. That. That's Beyonce cosign. That's amazing. Come on. Like, that's how she was introduced to me. I'm sure she was introduced to a lot of people Absolutely. through that yeah, cosign. Yeah. So course. that comes with a certain cultural cachet yeah. that DDG may not have had culturally. It doesn't take away from what he did in his lane, which is streaming now. Shout out to the streamers. I ain't fucking with y'all niggas no more. <laughs> y'all got it. You, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got it. Yeah. It doesn't take away, but I think those are two different lanes. Like, mm -hmm. one of the things that I think our community does is if you're black you assume we're supposed to know who you are right mm. but we are so much more layered than just being black yeah. so for me to not know who anybody in amp is it's not a slight to me and it's not a slight to them i think it's more so a proponent of growth <clears throat> and us diving into different spaces streaming and video games and mm -hmm. all of those things it used to be linear 
It used to you used to look at a person and be like, oh, he's a gamer, mm -hmm. he's a streamer. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't exist anymore because of the DDGs, mm -hmm. because of the people and, in the yeah. AMPs. Cool, yeah. And he also pivoted out of just doing streaming yeah, he was and doing, content. He, he, got so into he music. became a rapper. He right? became a rapper. And then speaking mm -hmm. on that, and that's why I'm, I'm glad we kind of landed there mm -hmm. because in he the was trying to land there about 15 minutes ago. No, not, <laughs> not at all. The, the crazy <laughs> thing Who is, said it? <laughs> who? Who you talking about? <laughs> the crazy thing is. <laughs> Crazy like land that motherfucker. <laughs> in the same way that there's some people who may not be informed yeah. with the DDGs, I don't always love the response, the default when people like a DDG go to money, when they go to, oh, who are you? Like, I don't respect that because money isn't a gauge of how relevant you are. Like, he, it wasn't money. He went to record. He has a record sales. He has a what platinum With record. Who are you guys talking about? Yeah, DDG. Okay. So he posted that he has a platinum <laughs> record good. and that it took I tried. <laughs> and that and that it took twenty years for Joe to get to gold. Like I think it's also corny when black oh, people do that. The accolade comparison, the money comparison. Oh, you don't know me, nigga. You wash. Like but, I don't like that back and forth. But it's either. also but it's also relationship dynamics, right? And the reason why I brought up him pivoting out of just doing streaming and content was he became a rapper, right? Yeah. You become a rapper. That's supposed to come with a certain sort of cachet, right? Like a cool effect or I feel like people should know me like similar to what Savon was saying. And for the most part, rappers are prominent and they're popular. When you get next to her and he is who he is, he's probably knowing yeah. how much is in his bank account and like, damn, I done got all these plaques and everything. And her audience just looks at me as the sidekick. <gasps> Can I yeah. say something? Is this kind of like, oh my God, I don't know if this is offensive, but this kind of reminds me of when YV and Corday got with um, Naomi, Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka. People are like, Big yo, Zoe. Corday is like a house husband now. But he was like, right before that, he was so high. Hot, and that, but you're, you're not like, yeah. you know, world champion tennis star hot. I mean, I don't know. We, we, we see it with uh, Cardi B and Offset. Yeah, we yeah. do. Cardi B is... A force and a movement in her own right. I mean, to be fair, we and also saw it with Iman and Tiana Taylor. Like, but you also have the shift in dynamics yeah. of of Offset was him when he got with Cardi. Cardi leveled up. Same with Iman was in the NBA when he got with Tiana. Tiana wasn't really doing much. Tiana leveled up. There's also a lot to say about how men respond in relationships mm -hmm. when those dynamics shift yeah. to where they don't become the supportive because Absolutely. that's the problem. That is why I think the audience does not like DDG. We saw him show his monkey ass yeah. when she was promoting the little mermaid <gasps> i His remember that era, yeah. what he did what he acting did? like he ain't like that she had a kissing scene made it oh, literally yeah. made it very uncomfortable to where she didn't even want him on the carpet with her while that press was happening it was very distracting it was very distracting yeah. and he was tweeting like he was an insecure fuck nigga See? And, and and i think that that's where it's like Bro, when we see that men can't sit here and uplift or support the success of their women as they excel, mm -hmm. that becomes a difficult thing. But I think we can blame the patriarchy on that. Well, everybody needs to take a book out of uh, Hove's book. What, what, everybody needs to take a page, a page, out, what, page out of Hove's book. What is it? Go ahead. Because I think you could say the same thing for Hove and Beyonce. Yeah, because that's that's uh, he is now Beyonce husband. husband. Wait, okay. But I think it's different. What are you going to say, Reggie? Go ahead. I just have a good example. Yeah. What I think... No offense. I think this is a better example. The way you've been saying, no offense, child. Rocky and Rihanna. Mm -hmm. I feel like ah. he does an amazing mm -hmm. job of uplifting his lady. He does. Mm -hmm. He anyway, does. Sorry, but well, what's continue. the book out of, in what way are you saying a page it, out of Poe's book? It's just understanding your role, right? Like, I'm sure that the dynamic between Jay-Z and Beyonce is a lot more collaborative than the public may think. A lot of people see Beyonce... And she she's Beyonce. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like Billboard's doing a list of the pop stars over the last decade or some shit like that or the last century. I uh, Pierre, if you don't mind looking that up to quote me. But yeah, I got you. Beyonce is gonna be higher than Jay Z mm -hmm. in that list mm -hmm. of the biggest pop stars of the last however many Absolutely. years. Yeah. Right? Beyonce has a lot more influence when it comes to her music, when it comes to her touring, when it comes to just being an icon, mm -hmm. Beyonce is her. But Jay Z never seems to allow that to affect him in his place in entertainment, in mm -hmm. business deals, and music. He supports her when she's going on tour. Mm -hmm. He's on the he side of the stage. Yeah. He never interferes with what it is that she's doing. Yeah, you want to know why I think it works for Hov? He's okay with just being the breadwinner. 
I think that's the problem with a lot of these dynamics, right? People want to be the breadwinner and the star. And the star. Right? Mm. Whereas it's like, yo, sometimes your partner, yeah, it's yep. ego, right? Oh. Sometimes your partner is just going to be that person. And you should just be okay that you know you're the one with $200 million in the bank. I think, you know, though, when you get into the entertainment space, right. a lot of people, kind of what we've been talking about this whole time, popularity, honestly, for a lot of people means more than money. Yeah. And people I'm want, that. people want to be like, people want people to talk about them. People mm -hmm. want, the access the, to feel like they're them. Yeah. And when that starts to to lessen and you're next to someone who's supposed to be your partner, then now you're having a step behind. Specifically for men, that becomes difficult. How's that been for you um, when it comes to your personal relationships? Oh, no, that was a part of my last breakup. Mm. Like, and... We, 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 no, nah, we recently That's ran into each other and had to have a talk about that. Like, he didn't feel needed. He also didn't... Oh, wow. Like, he was like, what am I here for? Like, and there was a lot of, um, he admitted his insecurities in me continuing to strive for ways in which he wouldn't get to, essentially. Mm -hmm. He was retired. He he didn't have that passion and drive. And for whatever reason, it was intimidating because it made him feel like I needed him less. There was nothing he could do. He didn't pay my bills. He wasn't involved in my business. He was just like, you know. I have a question. So, like, I get, you know, I will never understand. I'm not a man, so I don't know the pride that Girl, comes. Girl, me neither. I ain't a man either. Yeah, like, the pride that comes with that and, like, wanting to provide. So, like, when he saw you, he was like, oh, my gosh, she's making all this money. She don't need me. Like, and when he said, he was like, oh, I feel like you didn't need me. But in my perspective, I'm like, I wouldn't mind being a breadwinner because it's like, my man could show up for me in, like, a hundred different ways than paying my bills. That, is, new, like, that is a new concept for yeah, men. Mo men, like, men, care, men like, want to show up as providers. I get that because thousands of years they had to, they're like, you're a provider, you're a provider. Right. But let's say I did make more money. It's like, but just because you make money as a man, that's not the only thing I need from you, though. You could be a good husband. You could be a good support system. Yeah, I heard you. So the like, nigga cheated on me with a homeless bitch. So he definitely what wanted is going to feel but, needed. But, but let's go into the psychology into feel, that, right? He wanted to feel needed. There you yeah. go. Like, he like, wanted to be the knight in shining go. armor. Oh, we nah. That's I told not you, my I, fault. No, I said this on the pod before. <laughs> Drug bitch got the best pussy. I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> Yo, we're trying to have like a therapist. No, 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 Broke niggas got the best dick. He fucking for a roof. Well, you know what I mean? He need a house, he need a bed to sleep in. Absolutely. Like, and, uh, and he got a lot of time on his it's hands. It's a different type of effort in that you, fucking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I'm finna get this breakfast what? in the morning. I, my food stamp car <laughs> <What>? empty. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm he like, yo, saying, this chick makes $150,000 a year. Listen. And she gonna cook dinner when she get home. I ain't fucking this up. You feel me? I don't so know. I don't know. I think somebody that has good dick but also makes money is way better. I'm sorry. No, oh, girl, no, where they at? <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> they're everywhere, man. Alex, they? Alex, what? Okay, well no. then you're sharing them with the rest of the world like Cardi. Uh, no, you know not. what I mean? I'm just saying, like you got what? what? <laughs> but yeah, I will say man. as a man, <laughs> or, <laughs> what? as a man, like we all want to yeah. be our significant other's superhero, mm -hmm. and also receive the same kind of uh, kind of help and all that. So, so right. do better. Thank you. If I'm making more money than you, and that Go really make more money, no, and if that really, <laughs> that, no, that, but that's really what it is. If that really offends <laughs> you and makes you feel weaker than me, go Just do go get better. Like yeah. get a better yeah. job than me. Then like, yeah. what the fuck? if you can't, then you a weak pussy. It's not my fault. Get, yeah, it's not my fault. I'm fucking successful. Like, and now you're taking it out on me. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Just get a better job. Like, if that I fucking bothers like. you so much, or be a house husband. I don't care. Oh nah, that that ain't an option for a nigga. Be a house If I'm rich, nah, I ain't gonna lie. These new niggas. No, oh, I know. They with that. That's what they looking yeah. for. And, and it's kind of scary for me. I'm an African man, so you already know it's a little bit different how we raise and our mm -hmm. dynamics it's not and how we view shit. It's not an option. To not be a provider. And I, my well, yeah, does and, crawl. and you want like three or four wives, so nigga, you better get to work. I do not want. I do not want three or four wives. If you leading the team, you trying to get me in trouble out there. As an African, I don't want three or four wives. I'm just saying. Oh. You, you, you said what? You said what? <laughs> you, I'm not you, playing you, with you. So you're thinking this is... Oh, I ain't playing with you. With. <laughs> how many, you just with. How many wives do you want? I want one. When? Sing uno. When? when? What do you mean when? When do you want one wife? I'm not African. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> You African American. African -American. Like, the craziest what? thing about this is hard oh, to defend wait, myself because I ain't gonna lie. My mother did grow up in polygamy. See? She it ain't no C. That no, was man. back home. Do time out. Yo, time out. I know. What? Mandy. What? Ask him. Hmm? How many aunts oh. and uncles and oh, you brought up Alex? I know. How many? Just ask him. How, how many the people got to know? You got? How many aunts and uncles huh? you got? <laughs> Too much to count, huh? Over seventy. I don't know. That I'm just is crazy. I'm just saying, like over sixty, over fifty. It's just in that ballpark. Damn. But I'm gonna be honest with you. That was acceptable 
and deemed acceptable at that time. Oh, baby, we in America. It's about to be deemed acceptable here, you too. You think so? No yes. way. Look at the economy. They would, they would have to change we, so many we, laws. We are in a place right now where it's literally taking a village to pay rent for a two-bedroom <laughs> mm-hmm. apartment. Mm-hmm. So we're getting to a place now where people are having to live together. I also just shared mm-hmm. on my pod, they just, uh, in, in New York State, yeah. they are now accepting... Um, polyamorous relationships. Mm-hmm. So a couple is now not two. They are accepting three plus people as a family. You mean like now. Legally? Legally. That's okay. what I was legally. saying. Legally. Oh, so they're getting legally. It to the, and the they law started making there okay. was a there was a case in Massachusetts that they wow. ended up playing. And so there's a lot of states well, now looking at a family unit is not just a man, a wife, and two kids. It could be Four adults oh. in a poly. So you saying my family. people been had to figure it out? <laughs> Listen, that's what you that's what you saying. That's basically what you are saying. They been had to play. We're just yeah. behind. And not for nothing, a lot more people would l- avoid stress if they were honest about that. Oh, yeah. I don't want that though. Real talk. Don't listen to Savon, y'all. I don't say anything. face over there. You look like an evil <laughs> man. Do not, do not do not listen listen to the same thing. I want one. Wife, but Neo doing that. By the yeah, way. That's he, what I'm he, saying. He got, he and he's three. being honest. He got three right and now. And they all living on each that's other. That's what I'm saying. They being honest. They found the situation. Fix your face. Now look and, at your uh, face, no, 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 Reggie. No, 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 I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking. No, 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 no. I was thinking. I was literally going like this because I have a friend. It's a, it's a guy, and he throughout his whole life, like I've known him for many years, and he's always needed multiple girlfriends. Like not on some like oh player, but he, girlfriends. Or, yeah, no, yes, yeah, like or women girlfriends like he wants a relationship like he would call all of them his girlfriends yes like oh. literally like bring oh, them to family parties but he's thinking oh, like shit. and he had a sit down conversation he's like i really feel like polyamory is for me like not joking like everyone's trying I to laugh that. and he's, he's like he's like what if because alex said like if people admit them to themselves there might be less stress he literally yeah. was like guys like i just feel like that is for me like i know i seem like i'm joking but maybe i should just like Really try to be. You want to know our problem? This, you like, want to know our problem? Us men think when you guys say, just be honest. When you guys tell us, yo, just tell me what you're looking for. Tell us the truth. We be thinking it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. Run. Well, I want you. To, but that's the time to be honest. Do you know if your friend is okay with his girlfriends still having those relationships with other men? I don't know. That's a very good question. He and he lies. Ho- and he lies to the girlfriends about it. He has to. So, okay, so he's though. not doing it openly. <laughs> he's he's man, man. Man. So then that's what, and that's where you find a fault in his no, argument yeah. to like that lifestyle. Because if it's truly a lifestyle, you have to be open to all parties yeah. acting in the same you way. You never started a new lifestyle. He, he's starting a new. No, now he's now he's really <laughs> saying like, wait, maybe I should really start <laughs> this openly. Like, really, maybe I should really do it instead of like trying yeah, to be a player. Because he'll find his tribe. No pun intended. Like he'll find his tribe. Who he looking for? Neo did. African Neo. nigga can't say find hmm? a trial. Yes, I can. <laughs> Isn't he the only one that can say it? But intended, I can't nah, say that. Come right? on, son. Look, look at your man Neo. Come on, son. He finished. He finished lying to his wife. Now he got three of them. He, he got living. Three, he got three of them. He's now. like, oh my god, all of that lying didn't feel good. Now he just fit living free. I will be honest. <laughs> I do appreciate an artist that lies and gets caught cheating. Because yeah. I used to, I used no, to, enjoy, no, I used to enjoy when my favorite artist was heartbroken. Him. I'm with him. Wait, but what? What happened? Now. <laughs> Have this nigga been on no, tour? No, no, I'm telling you now, we not. Hmm? For what? Nah, he wasn't cheating. Who? Hmm? Oh, it was open. They they knew about each other, bro. Uh, you know, you know, yeah. bro. Man, she in, she know, bro. There I'm was no cheating. That. I'm not doing that to my there man. Was, there was probably nah, just it, a dynamic of it was one way, and one of the women got sick of it being that way and no longer liked it being open, right. and wanted to maybe close it, and that wasn't an option, and then they. They got into, they weren't in agreement anymore. I'm gonna applause for happiness. <laughs> My guys seem to have found happiness, and that's all that, that we care about. You get what I love. I need a poly album. Let's talk about freaking on multiple people. Let's not. That would be innovative. Openly, honestly, that's the thing. Niggas be lying. Let's talk about it being open and honest. You yeah. think uh, Cardi B was open and honest when she said she done let a nigga fuck when she was eight months pregnant? And did. I man. Was she open and honest, or was she just trying to be spiteful? Well, no, to her they now? they weren't together. If Bro. you got my baby in you, cool. we are together. Well, then you should have known how to keep your motherfucking dick in your pants. We not together, whether this baby bacon or not. And if I want to get my rocks off, I'm going to get my rocks off. Wow, that's me. crazy. How many niggas fuck pregnant? Yes. Come on, bro. Stop this fucking... Nah, I'm with you. Nah, that's Stop crazy. It. I hate what you... Nah, we not doing niggas, it. Niggas like the cat and lie like, 
Y'all be y'all, and, be, and, y'all and, baby mothers wait, be getting no, no. striped. And let's be very clear, <laughs> she hit that belly, so she wasn't even showing. She got the right lipo. That baby was little in that stomach. It wasn't even a big old belly. But we also don't even know if it's true or not. She probably the, just looked like she had a tomahawk. Man, it's okay. It's little belly, big dick is crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. How, 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 how you what? know? Nah, no, no. Be, no, we also I'm, don't know if this is true. What no. I'm saying is. She was small and hiding that stomach for quite a long time. As soon as she announced, she had the baby, what, two months later? Yeah. Okay. So depending on, I mean, I'm sure we're thinking of the size of the belly and it's, how pregnant she looks and the optics of it. Yeah. She was fairly small for a long time during this pregnancy. What do you guys think about who they say allegedly that she was cheating on and offset with? I don't I know mean, how true it is. Th- th- I don't know how true it is. I think both of those brothers are fucking hey. snipers. Uh, the Diggs brothers sh- hey. are insane. Tra- nah, but nah. I also it, and they it, nice on the field. No, but that's what I'm, yeah. I wasn't uh, Trayvon though injured last last yeah, he season was with the Cowboys. La- yes, he was. Yep. Um, he back now. Yeah, um, with India Love now. Um, so I mean, I don't know. I think it's cool. It's weird though because he was also just. Rumored to be hey, with Carisha. Let me ask you a question. So I, I don't, don't know. I, don't I can't know keep tr- up. I don't. Pierre, me I don't either. know what's real or not, but I will say this: I've been seeing Offset in the gym. <laughs> what <laughs> so, that mean? Nah, I saw, sometimes I, I saw it, I, 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 it means that I know Stephon Diggs is an athlete <laughs> who is who is very much in shape, and all of a sudden I see Offset popping up out of nowhere doing crunches. What is that gonna do? Them, them I arms, never them seen arms this look like he ain't never did a pull up in his <laughs> life. And respect that, Offset, but you see what I'm saying. All okay. of a sudden, it, it sounded like that info got out there, and I'm just seeing this nigga LA Fitness. I never seen a nigga LA Fitness. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because you know after you get broken up, well, you got to do some things. I ain't gonna lie. Like, kudos you, you to her. Nah. She fucked up. He out here fucking down. I love it. <laughs> and you got to get stronger than the nigga that potentially hit your joint. No, it's too late. Nah. There's nothing you can do now. Nah, you got to do it in late. the mirror. You got to do Even if you don't touch him, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and go, man, if I ever came to it, I got to I get He's not him. better than me. Yeah, you got to amp yourself up. Man, men shit. <laughs> See, I like Offset, so I ain't going to speak on this. I'm not going to lie. I love his song with Don I Tyler. I love Offset, too. I love it. Like, tell me, tell me, work it. I hope it's worth it. Ooh, I, tell I, me I, when I'm on purpose. I like his. I like you his. You do whatever to hurt me. That's what she did, Andy. Uh, I'm gonna do whatever to hurt you, nigga. Yeah, I, I see. I can't. I don't. I don't want to believe that. <laughs> oh shit. I don't, don't want to believe that she did that. I think. Yeah. A lot of times when women are hurt, they'll say things that they know that will hurt you. And, and will. I th- and I think mm-hmm. that's what she did. Personally, I'm not gonna hold you. Them. I'm excited and ready for this Cardi music. This is the perfect Facts. time. This is what I, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I mean. People, this is just a conspiracy. People have said in the past that they always fucking do this public fighting shit before one of their albums drops for publicity. See, I don't know if this is I a. Gonna lie. Pub- I don't think this. Is she don't. Lie. She don't need it. This I time. don't know if this is a publicity stunt or if yeah. it's real because it was mm-hmm. reported that they was in the same club, same strip club over the last week. New now, York shit though. You know how New York gets. No, no she, I don't. He is a narcissist. I know like he niggas. Showed up. He I know showed niggas up too. to ruin her <laughs> night. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Real niggas. Just to show Facts. up her, her demeanor change. And let's be very clear. This is the same Offset who brought his own ass on her stage while mm-hmm. she was performing to say sorry after cheating. Kendrick tried to tell y'all. <coughs> I remember that. Sometimes what you got Pop up and show niggas. Nah, he he's the definition of yo. If I can't have her, you niggas can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, that's a that's a dangerous. That's I, yes, that's dangerous. Because I could turn into something crazy. No, t- depending on who you dealing that with. That has kind of that has kind of been the theme of his responses. It's not gonna lie. It is. Yeah, I hate it. That's what he's been showcasing. His responses. No yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, her too. Like she said, like very wild shit as well. It's both. It's just mm-hmm. toxic, and I hate that we like it's so so public because I, I just mm-hmm. think of the kids. So I don't. Know. I will say that's one of probably the worst things a man can say. Mm-hmm. What, if I can't have you know, no. If I can't have you knowing well, that's okay. scary. Um, my my <laughs> cousin, like my cousin got killed two years ago oh. trying to leave a boyfriend for doing that. And then did you guys see? Oh, the popular TikToker, Lucas Coley. Lucas Coley. Yeah. He literally just chased his girl. So his girlfriend broke up with him. Oh, yeah. He chased her across five different states before Ooh. literally killing himself. But he threatened to kill himself Damn. if she left him. It was a very abusive relationship. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger, trigger warning. warning. But this has been all over the internet. Yeah, I didn't over see this I've week. seen it. I've seen oh, it. Yeah, you've seen I've it, seen right? It. I've seen it. So yeah. if, you, if you go into the deep dive of it. He was 27. He again, 27, but also just a very popular YouTuber. Extremely popular. They had their relationship. They were couples goals for a lot of the the younger people. Like the Vine days. And apparently he was he was very abusive. And so by the time she went to leave, he like chased her across state like for five states and then 
decided to not only kill himself, sorry, trigger warning, say that you're the reason I'm about to do it. Called her and did it so she could hear him do it. Jesus Christ. So people are saying, like, I, I mean, rest in peace. Rest in, but no, 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 rest in hell. Is, is she, I mean, how is, sorry. I don't want anyone affected? to die. Was but, she but she, yeah, she went on live. No. She's alive, but she's but alive. People, okay. I mean, people wait, wait, and he did it. This is the week of her <clears throat> birthday. Yeah, he did it. He before he left this world, he yeah. posted. He was like, "Ain't no more birthdays for you." And then he was like, Jesus "Oh, you're like people are saying that he did it so that she would just have to, have to like live with this forever." Live with this, ladies. Forever. Please be aware of this. Beware I know sometimes that toxic shit could sound lit. Or, oh my god, he lit. cares about me. That's crazy. Nah, yeah. whole whole time, homie could really be deranged. Yeah. Uh, speaking of intentionally or unintentionally trying to hurt uh, hurt people, I don't like this segue. Drake. Took to his IG story. Mm. Good, we're good, we're good, okay, we're good. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right Come on, it's, it's a I got you. So, I got you. I got you. It's me. <laughs> hey, twin. It's me, twin. Hey, oh, twin. Don't do that. Okay, twin. It's me. I got you. Okay, don't twin. worry. Drake took to his Instagram story this past week. He uploaded a picture of Solange post the elevator, uh, the infamous, famous elevator fight, which uh, was Jay Z, Beyonce, and Solange, of course, mm -hmm. where she allegedly slapped Jay Z in that elevator. For cheating with Becky with the good hair. Wait, is it allegedly? Because that's allegedly. We saw that. No, we saw that. We saw, we saw the walk the, out of the elevator. No, no, no. no, no, no the, the video, video, the video, the video in the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't yeah. saw that video? The TMZ video. No, I said. Oh. No, oh, is you, it allegedly? Because you said allegedly. I'm like, it's gotcha. not allegedly. I heard they sending out cease and desist. I'm trying to be careful. Oh, no, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. All alleged. We but have yeah, assets now. We do have assets now. Right. So Drake posted the picture and the images of Solange after she slapped from him. From that day. That, from that day. And then right after that, he uploaded a picture of Aaliyah. Oh, I and I guess what I wanted to ask oh. you guys was, Drake has been alluding to he's going to win round two, he's going to win game two, etc. And it looks like he doesn't want to have any back and forth for Kendrick Lamar going forward in terms of a rap battle. That's what he said? Yeah. That's that's basically, well, one of his one of his boys, okay. academics, <laughs> relayed that message. Like, Drake has no intention to do an active rap battle when well, he says- Well, I also wonder, was it confirmed and is it true that yeah. he is headlining the, the Olympics? FIFA? At, FIFA. Like, or FIFA. That's, yeah, we spoke half about time. that. Yep, so, yep. Possibly bigger than the Super Bowl. I don't think it's a halftime. I think it's no, no, he's the ambassador. It, it, yeah, he's the ambassador. No, I thought they the were event. doing for no, no. the first time a halftime performance. Mm -mm. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Could you look that up? We can. Up I do know yeah. to your point that you're right. Do though, something man, over there because he um, is the ambassador yeah. of the 2025 uh, FIFA. FIFA. It's going to be in Canada. That's a fact. That uh, Pierre, fact check that part for us. Yeah, yeah. And for the for the performance. To yeah. me, I'm not going to hold you. Yeah. Here we go. We know that Solange slapped the fuck out of Jay Z. Mm-hmm. It could just mean that. Not that it's Jay-Z, but if he just also went on this rant about friends, that could have just been a meme like, I'll slap the fuck out of you niggas. Like, we use a lot of these memes to to, mm, to I like kinda, that breakdown. You know what I mean? We use memes. Mm -hmm. We use the, the, the nigga, like, all the hot ones. When niggas are on hot ones, we use pictures and memes of moments mm -hmm. to describe our feelings of what we what how we feel right and so i don't think it was a direct shot at jay-z i think people are digging into that mm -hmm. but i do think that maybe it's just i'm gonna slap one of you niggas mm -hmm. and mind you we did just hear a whole rant about how he feels about friendships and how he's felt slighted and how friends will backstab you and not call and you turn and turn their back and right. turn your back on you right. i think that that's what that could mean okay well, you know what I mean? Let's, you want to go play the audio? Yeah, let's hear Drake say it himself. Listen, I'm going to tell you one thing about nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia this party here. My real friends are definitely in the building. Okay. 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 They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization. Wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. Sometimes you know what? Oh, it's all right. He then plays Me, Myself, and I by Beyonce. I love it. Right. Uh, Could this have any correlation with um, people feeling like Lil Wayne was slighted at the Super Bowl? Could this also be a defense of Lil Wayne? Because a lot of people, they were so done with that goddamn shit. What you mean? Wayne but, ain't even Wayne was maybe. never gonna headline. But, but go ahead. Maybe. But if I'm Drake, if I'm Drake, I'm gonna defend my team, my camp, mm -hmm. right? Um, so if I know 
that Jay Z has heavy influence in the halftime show for the Super Bowl. I know that Lil Wayne was not only snubbed, but he was snubbed for the person who just called me a pedophile for the last oh. year or so. Wouldn't I pick a side and be vocal about it? Um, and this is my way of subliminally saying, Hove, I see you. No. Why not? I think you sound like a conspiracy theorist right now. How? Um, because that deep dive, nigga, you was down there with the submarine that fucking blew up. <laughs> that's well, that's, that, that, that was that's how, how, that's how deep. That, I didn't that, know, that that's not like a deep dive. I mean, that far t- t- Lil Wayne and Dre I, are I, how close in proximity. I, I, I get that, but let's be very clear too. Wayne... Wayne has been in the same rooms with a lot of the guys that could have put put him in that place. He's at Fanatics we, Festival. Not only that, yeah, you know what I mean. We nobody all, is nobody can no, put Wayne in that place. I get but that, but, but we've also discussed and talked about the fact that the Super Bowl has been in New Orleans quite a few times. This isn't yep. a local event. He hasn't had any records. Let's also be clear: he is downsized from his stardom as a performer. He probably wasn't going to get the young money. He was Drake wasn't going to go up there with him. I don't think Nikki would have went up there with him. First off, Nikki's husband wouldn't have even been able to go to the game to cheer her on because there was kids at the game. Yeah. But like, I don't think yeah. a lot of people, yeah. even seeing when at the Essence reunion, there is some bad blood still there. He wouldn't get on stage with certain members of Cash Money. But this has I, nothing to do with the halftime well, show, Jay-Z, Drake. I don't think it does. And for all of y'all that also want to see Wayne, why don't y'all sit here and rally for him to be the headliner at Coachella since Kendrick and Rihanna both turned it down? If y'all want to yeah. see him goddamn perform so bad. I don't think it has anything to do with that, the revisionist, personally. Keep what? going, keep going. The revisionist history I've seen people showcase with Lil Wayne in the last month or two has been alarming. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not. It's, it's kind of eye opening to no, me. Now, he's do great. I do I believe that Kendrick Lamar deserves it because of his ear? Absolutely. But the discourse we've had about Wayne and how we've mentioned him and how he's not who he is and what he's done, what he's no, done no, is no. kind of crazy. Let's be, let's be very clear because okay. I don't need I don't need Pierre. Okay. Chopping, this, head yeah. ass, chopping this shit up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I love Wayne. Okay. However, he is also still his prime was a mixtape era. Mm-hmm. His prime was Carter Three. For a lot of the things that he has released over the last 10 years in the streaming world, seeing his decline of of his health because of drugs, seeing his decline with having to go to prison because of the the, the gun charges. And then I ain't even gonna hold you in a fucking election year. I don't know why the fuck y'all was riding his dick so hard when he's been a Trump supporter for the last fucking two years. I think overall. He was not a great candidate for this. He didn't have the team around him that mm-hmm. we think he has. Because let's be very Definitely clear. Doesn't. Drake is not going to... Oh, we, we had the conversation earlier. Mm-hmm. Drake ain't opening up and guest starring at a Super Bowl without his own performance for first. Sure. We wasn't getting Drake. We weren't. Mm-hmm. But I think everything that you said could be true. But when it comes to Drake's perspective <laughs> and his POV, I'm going to ride for my guy. I my guy is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne clearly felt slighted. Because we watched Lil Wayne take a video saying, yo, mm-hmm. I was heartbroken. Mm-hmm. I was uh, disappointed. Right. I really wanted this moment. I really thought that I was going to have this moment. Mm-hmm. Right? So we know how Lil Wayne feels about the halftime performance. So it's not far-fetched to be like, oh, wait. If Drake and Lil Wayne, they're, they're mans, right. yeah. I'm going to feel away for my guy. And not only do I feel away for my guy, right. but you had the nerve to put the nigga who just called me a pedophile in the position that this man could have easily been in now. It's not about I, whether I see Wayne, what you're saying. Yeah. it's not about whether he deserves it or not. That's another debate for another right. day. The point you is You don't think he was talking about himself? Who? So Drake made this I was just about to say that. Drake made this speech. We have to realize as well, most recently, first off, the entire hip hip hop and the A listers are against Drake. But he also just crashed and burned that relationship with Yachty. They both of them followed each other. That was his man's. That's been his man's. And so you have Ross, you have Future, you have Metro, you have all of these men that have records. Also, let's be very clear with Drake that at some point or another, maybe he thought there was a real friendship there. Yes, he was out here fucking, you know, mm-hmm. niggas, bitches and shit. Mm-hmm. But all these niggas do that. They all fuck the same bitches. Yeah. So I think that like us in this podcast space. Where because we work together, because we have the same goals, we hang out maybe with each other more than sometimes our other friends. There's a blurred line to where maybe you think niggas is really your friends. Mm -hmm. And they not. They your competition. They don't really want you to win. They don't really see you as a friend because guess what? 
They haven't really met your parents. They don't care about your children. Mm -hmm. That's not the dynamic. And so we make these false umbrella terms. Like, they're associates yeah. that we believe are friends and, until now. And I could see where you're coming from in terms of the first photo, right? The Solange photo. All right, cool. Maybe you want to slap up anybody related to the Super Bowl or right. anybody that associates with that side. I could get it. The reason why I was asking you guys if round two is actually him and Hove because that Aaliyah picture... Feels a bit personal. Mm. Uh, we know Drake has ha uh, used uh, uh, Aaliyah, Aaliyah samples, Aaliyah yep. samples and lyrics He's, before. He was like obsessed with them. Uh, we, we remember has, that era, right? Tattooed. Yeah, so yeah she's tattooed. We on know him. he has a different sort of interest and love for Aaliyah, right? Again, we don't and, know what that picture can mean, but we do know she's been connected to Dame Dash, Rockefeller, Jay Z, people on that side. Maybe he really want to spar with Hove? Is that the real big fish? I ain't gonna hold it. You just lost to Kendrick. Nigga, don't go after Hope. Just sit your ass down and make some unsa uns music. <laughs> like, yo, I thought we was gonna get that all summer. I mean, what? No, we, the shit with Gordo, I'm mad at it. And those are my shit. Yeah. 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 Fucking cool. Sideways and Healing. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Both of those records on repeat. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah, right now, I think, I think. just just give us music. I don't think we need more beef. You just lost. Yeah. Well, he gave us music and the music not really landed. But he's is it not? A, he's given us a lot of music. He give he's given us a lot of content. He's even given us speeches. He's given us Mario. Like he's throwing <laughs> everything at the board Hunger to games. see what sticks, to see what works. Hunger Games. I legit think that this has some type of, and I don't know if round two is necessarily music. I think round two could be. Nigga business. need to just get back in front of a fucking camera. Mm -hmm. I think. Give us Degrassi 2.0. <laughs> like, nigga, go act. That get, would be fun. Do some skits on SNL. Like, you don't want to act. Get no back more. to make people like actually your. He has a likable personality. Mm -hmm. Maybe not behind the scenes, mm -hmm. but he's been likable to the masses. He's he's likable to the women. He's funny. He's charismatic. Mm -hmm. Get back to where you get the audience to just like you again because you are dope as an artist. I mean, right. Maybe not a great friend. Maybe yeah. not a great partner. Maybe not a, you know what I mean? Maybe not great in business because mm -hmm. we've heard some rumblings about that too. But he is a fucking great artist. Mm -hmm. Just get back into all the things that may, have made people like you this whole time. I think to me, it kind of came off as like, all right, Drake kind of saw that Jay-Z wasn't responding to anything that was circulating around the news cycle. Mm -hmm. So for if I'm Drake and I see kind of my opponent wounded, it's almost like, all right, this is the time to strike. Because if he does say something, I got mad stuff in the tuck that's already being spoken about that he's clearly trying to avoid. Right. And, and I'm mm. sure he's had to pivot on his plan, right? Like, everybody got a plan until you get punched in the face. Wait, Alex, right? I, saw, I saw the Solange pick, but was the Aaliyah pick um, mm -hmm. posted mm -hmm. like back to back? It was in that... Yeah. Like, with that that same, same yeah. day. I don't know. That yeah. is kind of that's not random. I feel it's like not random. So can we like entertain like um a round two? And if he is aiming at Hove, what does that? Yeah, mean? what does that like, look like? Do you, is he saying like Savon was saying not just about the music? Is he trying to be like you're up next to be taken down? Is that what Drake's message? And like Which I'm gonna and I'm gonna have a part, mm. playing a part in that. Or, like what? I, I'm so like glad you Diddy brought shit. that up because yep. I don't even okay. think that's a door Drake would want to open. Which is yeah, why so I'm why? very confused. I, I, no, I, don't, I, even, I, I, don't, I don't think I agree with that. I, really? I, I would love yeah. to hear that. I would love to hear because, why. Because after just, certified lover boy, certified pedophile? No, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jay-Z is not going to... In my assumption, Jay-Z is not going to just come out the gate and say stuff. I don't think Jay-Z is going to say anything about it. He's going to work behind the scenes. Not even just... Yeah, he I can, pull I can see him do that, yeah. for sure. But like, he's not going to overtly come out and say anything because it's too hot for Jay-Z right now. Yeah, it is. but, but it I'm is. saying him shining a light on Hove, right? W what it also would do for him and the rabbit holes people have tried to go down during the whole rap battle and beef. Like, if anything, I'd be like, dog, leave that alone. And like Manny said, just drop the oomph, oomph, oomph music drop and, the oomph, oomph. And, and, and get out of this. As calculated as these guys are at that level, yeah, I think it was, again, my belief is he did that in defense of Wayne. Mm. I don't think he really thought about what could open on his Pandora's box mm -hmm. when it comes to allegations and all this shit, Hove being on the hot seat, Hove not responding to things. I legit think he saw a weakness, a chink in the armor when it came to Hove. Yeah. So he said, I'm going to put, because somebody like a Jay-Z, you don't want to relive your worst moments. You don't. That elevator scene, that elevator video, mm -hmm. photos, all that, that is a moment that I'm sure Hove wants to forget. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Beyonce wants to forget. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Solange wants, like none of them want to relive that. So when you right. are one of the biggest pop stars mm -hmm. in the world and, and you, you put that, that on a story, yeah. that you are sending a message of, oh, I want you to see this. Okay. I can't remember this. Yeah. You I'm not know mad what I'm that. saying? Right? Like mm -hmm. that image is so old. That event happened so long ago. Hove doesn't even have hair in the picture. Yeah. yeah. We know Basquiat. That Hove. nigga 
there's that. <laughs> that was like yeah. shortcut yeah. hove. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. really wants to bring that back up. So yeah. if he's willing to put that on his story with the microphone that he has. I think he's sending some type of message to Jay-Z or to the powers that be, to the industry, whoever it is, because he gets on stage and he talks about how he has no friends in the industry. Mm. Now, I've always thought it was interesting how Jay-Z has appeared on a lot of Drake's albums. Yeah. A mm. lot Jay-Z and Drake do have songs together. A yeah. lot of them weren't singles. Right. But Light they up. are album cuts on all of Drake's albums. Most of them. Most of them, most yeah, of them, we, most of like them. they they collaborate more often than you would think, right? Because those aren't the ones that we hear in the club. Because those aren't the ones that people are running to when it comes to his album cuts. We may not associate them to as having a business and a working relationship, but the two of them work they quite do. often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? You know what I call that now in hindsight. Keep your friends close and your enemies That's, a little closer. Yeah, that might just be no what book. it is. It's but you know, tip. people who don't like to actually do the deep dive with their music or just see a theory that could actually happen, they just go, oh, no, nah, like, they cool. They do music. I'm like, dog, do you know how many rappers do music together because they hate each other and they want to yeah. bar each other up on, on the same song? Which is, I think, what we yeah. see happen when the whole industry went against Drake. Like, okay. I'm glad you, you got, got yeah. our hits. Got it. Like, you know, I, I there's wanna, a lot of transactional relationships yeah. and using in this, in this space period. You mentioned Lil Yachty. Yes. Pierre, could you do this really quickly? Could you check to see if they're following each other right now? If, if Drake and the Yachty are following yeah, each other? Yeah, just okay. double check for me because I want to make sure this. I want to give a quick... I don't think they are, but I'll, I'll confirm. Just double check for me. Thank you. I want to give he a said, quick... He said, do it now. Please, please. <laughs> Damn, that shit. <laughs> I came off, you man. Hurry like, are are up, twins. Like, nah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Hey, get yeah. on it. It's like, nah. <laughs> That's but, wild. Is I, that I, what it's like dating I, an Mandy, African man? No, no, no. All right, Mandy. Mandy. Yo, <laughs> yo, Mandy, you trying to take me down again. You're fighting for his life back there today. Hell no, I'm not fighting for my life. What's up? I walk in the house smoke. What's up? Shit. You good. All right, yeah, yeah. He I, said, tell that on my chest, yes, I'm a zoo. <laughs> yo, chill out. <laughs> chill out, my boy. Yeah. That's my Haitian homie. Chill out. I know. Y'all know the song. Y'all know the too. You show your dirty mouth. You show your mouth. Anyway, I want to give a quick shout out to the WWE. Uh, Nigga, you was just about to talk about Yachty. I, I, this oh. is why. Oh. Mandy, let's get to the topic. Damn. Girl, let's <laughs> Yo, wait, real quick, Mandy, do something real quick. Turn over your left shoulder. Real quick, just look behind you. That's his show, nigga. <laughs> Relax. Let me try to tell my man you how to do it. You trying to tell me where I'm going to stand in my He's like, he's setting up the topic. She's like, get oh. to it. Yeah. And then we're like, yo, you know what it was? No, no, no. She heard how I was treating Pierre. I know. And now she and, wanted and then, to. And then I, now it just inspired exactly. all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, both got to relax. And right? Pierre to Ops, and I ain't even like how you just talked to him. That's trauma. That's my twin. He good. Thank you. Pierre, did you find that out? Listen, so your horse is rolling out. I'm a fool. You have like five minutes here. Because I'm sitting here trying to defend myself. Tell what yeah, now, now they mad at you. Yeah, nigga. Niggas gave you like five That's minutes crazy. of whole break. Anyway. And I got the Drake stuff that y'all was talking about. Y'all okay. didn't even want to come back and circle back around that. <laughs> Hurry up. Roll out anyway, what you're saying. I want to give a quick shout out to the WWE. Yeah. I was in my music studio this weekend, and they pulled up one of the WWE pay-per-views, right? I think it was called Bad Blood. I'm casually just watching this shit, right? Because, again, I'm not like a WWE fan. I do have a homie that does go hard. Shout out to Armand. That's Shout out Armand. to Just. They go hard with it. Shout out to Wale and them. It's fire. I understand what they're trying to bring back. Mm -hmm. People was bleeding again. It's getting exciting again. <laughs> you been bleeding again. Nah, it's getting crazy. I ain't going to lie. Uh, they, well, they brought get excited blood about back? us. We bleed every month. The, Jesus. I, I've Ooh. been excited about y'all. <laughs> 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 okay. You shit me? <laughs> He's what? like, that never stopped. They're, they're both named. following each other, by the way. They're both oh, following okay. each other. Wait, Drake Thank and Yachty? You. Drake and Yachty. They did unfollow both, each other. They unfollowed each other, you know, but they unfollow, are currently unfollow. following each other. But, but they are currently following. following each other. Yeah. I wanted I wanted you to make clearance for that because as I'm casually just watching the WWE and shit, it looks like Triple H and the people up top are trying to add more hip hop, right? Yep. Which makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Where they're popular, they'll new. bring it's not new, right? Yeah. It's part of marketing. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching a scene, mind you, Metro Boomin was one of the hosts of the pay-per-view event. Yep. Right. So we saw him frequently throughout the show. And then it, I it, think he did that. It well, if you if you also yo, see the tour with Future, mm -hmm. he was wearing the belt almost all tour, all the time. Ah, and then towards the end, he I started tagging saying. WWE. Got you. I think that's the thing with with content creators. Yeah. If you lean yourself into, they're gonna bring you fan, over. Right. They're gonna bring you Absolutely. over. Absolutely. I noticed that. You too. see, you saw it, right? Yeah. And they were in Atlanta, right? Yep. So we also saw Lil Baby. Yep. We saw um, P from QC. Yep. I'm like, oh, it's a family event in here. We got Atlanta in the building. When it comes to one scene now, they, they, they pan the Metro, and in the background, not only do I see Quavo, but I see Little Yachty. Oh, wow. 
So I'm sitting here like, okay, first off, I never watch these pay-per-views. <laughs> not only do I ever not watch these pay-per-views, the one time I do watch, they on some hip-hop shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even sure if the producers, or maybe they are, are abreast to what they're doing. I think it's the <laughs> AEW. Is it the AEW? What's the this other one? This is WWE. One? They got yeah. AEW. So yes. A well, AEW yeah. just had, I think, Meg Thee Stallion right. for their opening song. Sexy then, Red just had and NXT. Then, and then Sexy Red. But yeah. then also, they already announced Summer Jam for next year in August that's taking place here for two days with, with Cardi, Cardi B. B. And so it's really interesting to me yes. how much we've, we're talking about mm -hmm. hip-hop being involved with the NFL yes. as of late, but now we have this other Wrestling. huge sports conglomerate, conglomerate right. that's literally aligning themselves Which, with hip hop. And they've always kind of done it, right? Back in the day, they brought on guys like Mike Tyson, etc. Yeah. Right? Snoop, Snoop, <laughs> right? We've seen it before, mm -hmm. but this one—it's it's really interesting now. This one time, I'm like, wait, do they know that <laughs> <laughs> Metro and Yachty probably not supposed to be in the same room? Now, again, the excuse could just be, yo, it's Atlanta. I think art huh? imitates life. And what I mean by that Say it. is, Say it. hip hop is entertainment. WWE. Uh -huh. It's all uh -huh. WWE. Boom. Oh, and we've been Boom. liking the battle rap Say it. all it's, year. It's, it's my guy it's right there. It's all entertainment. Okay. So, you saw where he was driving us. Lil Yachty, I like this. Yes. Metro See? Booming, it's all entertainment. It is. Boom. These guys all just want to make a bag. I mean, we don't. And, do y'all remember when even Boom. Fashion Week, they sat Chris Brown next to Quavo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I ain't yeah, going to lie. That, but that, nah, that was that, real. That, that was real. Chris Brown. We heard the diss tracks that came after that. But then they said they were. They're paid. <laughs> They're paid to sit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it fell through with Meg. It fell it through. Yeah, yeah. What oh, do you mean it fell through okay. with Meg? It didn't happen. happening. It's not happening. Okay. Well, well, while we're on WWE, yeah. I do want to give a special shout out to my guy Triple H. Shout out to Triple H. I, I'm a huge Triple H He's fan. He's running things over there right also, now. Also, his theme song has been running rampant. You got to do this. <laughs> you got to do it sometimes. <laughs> just play the game on these niggas sometimes. <laughs> sometimes when you you gotta just play Yo, the game, and I was, get it. I, and, and you know, I, I would like to shout out to uh, the Roman the Roman brothers. It's only one. <laughs> There's a whole lot of them. No. Oh, Roman Reigns. The Ro Roman Reigns is one. Him. But they are a oh, family. Oh yeah, they called uh, the the Ro some what, shit. the Reigns brothers, whatever. Roman's brothers. That family. Roman Reign. That <laughs> family right there. Yeah, I knew yeah. Roman. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just know that whole family. And they're related to The Rock. Yes, they That's are. That's a whole Ooh, Samoan culture. Samoan, when I tell yo, you, Samoan. I'm about to yo. take a trip to Samoa, what? baby. What? Oh, you, you got a boyfriend. What? Baby, I want to go. <laughs> what you about to invite me? I was like, bitch, we might need to go to Samoa, bitch. I do remember Googling, why are so all Samoans so large and strong? Listen, I like Roman Reigns more right. than them Samoan cookies, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's called the bloodline. The bloodline. The bloodline. There we go. Them. I'm disappointed in myself because I watched you them. Should, I dead ass I just watch, watched them. I watch them too. On mute, in the memes, on the gifs. <laughs> yo, I watch them. Yo, Okay. Oh, that, that's oh, not how I watched. Oh, it. Was it was oh my a different god! I recently, there's a Netflix documentary about Vince McMahon, yeah. and it, it like it uh, it was like ten episodes, oh, yeah, an he's hour dude, each of of like every WWE era. And I'm like I'm not that familiar, so that was me literally learning. Yeah, you guys are. Never mind. Don't do that. What you mean? No, what? what you mean? People She's about are, to say you guys are psycho. I'm sorry. Um, what, 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 where are we? We're Hulk Hogan, The Rock, the, Ray, Ray Mysterio. Oh, that was uh, attitude, attitude, the attitude era. era. That like, was like Triple H, Shawn Michaels. And yeah. I learned about Sh yes. Yo, mm -hmm. which one was Rikishi in? Mm, like Mortal Mortal Kombat. He was like attitude era. <laughs> Bro. Yo, get, yeah. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Yo, Mandy. Yo, Mandy. No, like, Mandy, you good? You alright? <laughs> No, but just yeah. learning about like all the things that Vince McMahon made his family do. Rikishi was yeah. our era. They were very much involved <laughs> into like, the inner workings like, of it. Yeah. Is that not it's strange to you people? Like definitely strange. It was intense. I, what I learned from that doc, doc was that he was one of the pioneers. Mm. He essentially like thrifted all these wrestlers yes. from these other popular and he wrestling have, companies. He created a multi-billion dollar industry. He like did. I, I fully acknowledge that, but there was a lot of sick shit going on. A lot oh, of sick, sick shit going There's on. There's a lot of sick shit. And I, was, everything. I was surprised. And I wasn't familiar. I was like, entertainment. Whoa. And entertainment, There's right? a lot of Full sick shit moment. in entertainment. And that's why it was so prophetic to see, and just how Savon, you know, spoke about, mm -hmm. it was so prophetic to see, wow, yeah, some people call WWE fake, but man, it's really all a show. So when I see two people who are allegedly supposed to be at odds or, yo, we picked the side and I picked the side and they all up in the same scene, I'm like, dog, but I don't like, even know. Okay, but they were all like, there. Going on? They were all there for bad blood. It's not like they were all there, buddy, buddy. It wasn't like nah. Metro's birthday party. Hey, Reggie, hear me out, though, right? <laughs> they were just sitting remember in the said? same bleachers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Reggie, remember what I said? It was a scene. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant so, they were sitting next to so each other. So the scene, okay. let me break down the scene, right? Mm -hmm. It was 
there was three um women uh, uh wrestlers. I don't uh -huh. know their names, I'm sorry. I think it was Jade something. Anyway, okay. they were hosting Wait, what's her name? Jade Calgary. I, think. I think she my favorite wrestler. Call she she right, built whatever. like a bot. She built like she built nice. Like, yeah, she I nice. Want, you know what I'm saying? I want to send nice. her support. I want to make sure her ACLs intact at Same. all times. Bro. I want to make sure that she's able to continue to entertain us. Keep going. I want to make sure we all follow her and support that young queen. I'm with Savon. Savon I'm with Savon. What's her full name? Jade. <laughs> <laughs> so now in this scene with Jade, she's accompanied Jade with two other Car there we go. There we go. She's accompanied with two other wrestlers. Reggie, no exaggeration. They were using Quavo, Yachty, and a few other people as standings Jade, for the scene. Jade Cargill. Thank you, Thank Pierre. You. <laughs> they were, they they were, were wrestling. <laughs> Thank you, Savon. <laughs> y'all niggas is horny. Y'all okay today? We're all horny. Y all? He's like trying to tell a story. <laughs> <Yeah. and> it's, <laughs> like, it's like my fault, Jade Carlisle. <laughs> like, thank you. I said Jade. It's Jade. Cardigan. It's Jade. Cardigan. Oh, it's shit. It's about to be Slater. But <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't going to have to remember nothing. It's going to be Jade Slater. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I paid attention to it, Reggie, because wow. it was intentional, right? Like, you would intentionally, as a producer, have to place them as stand -ins. And they agreed. They would nah, have to. I ain't gonna hold you. Maybe you they got to. paid and niggas to do a little something strange for a piece of change now. So. Yo. 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 All Yo. Right. Yo. 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 Y'all got a lot impeccable. of bleeps in here and this is not because of me. It's because of that one right there. <laughs> yeah. Y'all better make all the clips to be safe on so we can get dragged by the internet this week. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If Mandy said anything that would be, you know, I you know why? Didn't... It's because we didn't talk about Melissa Ford. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Let's get Mandy. No, hold wow. on, guys. Okay. Yo, I got a little Go like. Ahead. Can I just say something? It's, Go ahead, it's Reggie. Not about, no, I love no, no, it. No, uh -huh. no, no, it's not about this. It's no, I look through uh, our like um doc <laughs> and I, it's only like a certain time and we have a lot of time. I'm like, damn, we actually got through all our topics. So well, let's, oh, we did? Let's, no, let's we talk about let's it. Let's no, we don't got to do it. Oh, we, we ain't got to do it. I was just joking. I hope we, we, no, we, 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 we have My point is we have time. We, we, I mean, we, my we, point is... I ain't no pussy ass hoe, so I don't mind huh? speaking to what the fuck I gotta talk about. I <laughs> like nah, that. because I'm from Florida. Uh, Fall no, Seven, Chapel City, him. blah blah. Oh, him saying um, so abruptly. I mean, to me, there's there's nothing to really discuss. Let's be very clear. Yeah. Um, Damn. I, I wish anyone starting new ventures and new podcasts the best of luck. I do know that doing this for so very long and being very successful at it um, and having friends who have also been successful at it, there that there are just things that you would we, think to do that you would think to do starting a new show, having the resources around you. And apparently I ain't allowed to talk about nothing because guess what? I talked about Call of Daddy, I talked about Travis, <laughs> Kelsey talked about all the all the all the cracker podcasters, but don't <laughs> let me have anything to say about a black. That's a fact. And I'm now a bully. <laughs> so hmm. anyways, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> literally, you know, no. Okay, you can't know. talk about these, you know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mandy no. brings this out of me. I know. Oh, oh, I know. We're not going to put this on me. No. He's trying to put it on somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do, to get you him, Mandy. do this by yourself. Get him, Mandy. He does. You do this by yourself. Get him, Mandy. Okay, no, let's be very clear. I wish her the best. Okay. Um, You know, six months from now, let's see where it's at. But uh, I don't know. I... I wish her the best. What do you, but why do you, I, what do you, I, I, I listen, I gave a, a, a pod pro tip, and I do think for anyone listening, for anyone looking to start a show, for anyone looking to start anything, get your business in order. Business in order looks like setting up your LLC, having contractual things with agreements. You. We sat here and spent weeks going back and forth on our agreement with this Facts. partnership together. Facts. Let's get those in order. And literally, I was like, if y'all could think of anything else to add, let's be on the same page. Do you like this point? We had calls about it. I think you do that. And if you're going to name yourself something for marketing purposes, it should be something that's new or hasn't been used already by six other pods. And I don't think that it's fair for someone to just be like, oh, my name is bigger. So fuck them. And just, just to bring you know? everyone up to speed, uh, Melissa Ford of the J Bu Joe Button Pod um, had a rollout plan. For a podcast that she was, you know, starting, and yes, the, name, the menopod, the menopod, and then the, uh, she wound up having to change the name, and then Mandy. No, 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 she didn't happen to have to change the name. Okay, talk she to fell us. out with the co-host before okay. the show even aired. Mm -hmm. Again, make sure your relationships and business is in order, and the other podcast hosts purchase the trademark. Yeah. Again, business, and this was all posted on the Twitter, and you mm -hmm. know, it's been coming out. So of course, she went and got another name. 
And she added her name to it, which makes it so different. I, you know. From from a, a podcast that was already Yes, and so to me, I don't know. I guess I can't really be speaking on anything because what do I know? Mm-hmm. I've only made two seven-figure podcasts. Well, we don't have um, to speak on her it, It's not even her. To, it's not even it, her. It's, it's in just general. basic in knowledge general. when launching a podcast. Not even launching a podcast. A business, a YouTube show, mm-hmm. uh, any sort of platform you want to, if it's... If it's whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, need to know. Mm -hmm. If you want to name your podcast, need to know. Mm -hmm. And you decide to name it that, just know this pod that already exists is probably what's going to pop up. Mm -hmm. Your marketing is going to be much more difficult if you use a name that's already taken specifically in the same industry as yours. There is another podcast called Need to Know Podcast. Fuck them. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Y'all, y'all took their name? Y'all did that? No. No. Was, no. was they here first or y'all was here no, first? No, we were here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't I think matter. it was just pure coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. Pure I don't know. coincidence. Okay. I don't know, man. But my like... point, they probably didn't do their motherfucking homework either. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Dumbasses. So, I, I mean, think... We didn't invent the phrase. No, yeah. you didn't, which which that's the thing. There's a lot of phrases that none of us... And that, words. That, you know what I mean? Words mean things. Cool. But <laughs> there's a way you can change the spelling. Mm-hmm. There's just so mm-hmm. many ways. I just want creatives to really look at diving into this prior to seeing any money as a business Mm -hmm. that will eventually make money so that you protect yourself so there's also uh a way for you as in mandy b (laughs) to go about getting that message across without coming off a little shady. I know. Like everything Wait, you said could be true, and Mandy. it's true. It could. But huh? you, 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 you've been doing this for a long time. Well, you know how it's going to be taken. You and Mandy, know, sometimes hold on, a bitch Mandy. just like to be petty. The internet I, okay. is okay. 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 I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Because I'm a be. I did drop you. the tip. Oh, thank you. Like my friend was like, it was shady. Mandy. It's a, you're being yeah. an asshole. You know what you're doing. And I was like, damn, I'm being an asshole. And I was like. Yeah, well, I'm sometimes being I like being because, an like, asshole. because like you like justifying why you gave the advice. The advice is great. Like it is, it is actually a fact that you should be fact checking like the name that you use, and mm-hmm. also you are a very successful podcaster. Like we know that, but nah, everybody don't know that. All like we know why you deserve <laughs> no, a right. right to like offer podcast advice. But we're saying just like Mandy, the way you did it was shady. But the, you're no, 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 no. The, so only, the only it thing, was. I, yeah, the only thing I think you did wrong was that you ain't DM her. Because when people speak to your intention, they're going to be like, yo, if you was trying to give info, why you ain't just hit them on the side? You know what I'm saying? Like, hit you really up. care. Yeah, nah, you know fuck that. She ain't got to DM her. DM oh, her? I don't know. Oh, nah, smoke. Oh, yeah. No, okay. no, no. There's, no. no. there's no smoke, but DM oh, her. Yeah. Like, to me, then, it became a general tip that anyone could take. Yeah, that, that's how I look at... Yeah, no. See, no. That's how I look at it. It was general. You can't say no inside with No, that. what I'm going to say is... <laughs> what I'm going to say is... Yeah. All right. Mandy can speak from a different perspective. Yeah, a lot absolutely. of people don't know. Mandy is an award-winning executive producer Thank you. of a Webby, Webby award, award winning. right? Heavy. Webby award winning, like in, in the podcast space, the Webby Awards is almost like a Grammy for us, right? Like it's very competitive. Yeah. There's a board. Like this is the, the digital media Grammy. Not just podcasting, digital media yeah. is the Webby. Shannon Sharp, Kiki Palmer, mm-hmm. um, Issa Rae, Cox, Issa Laverne Ray, Cox. Cox. Like heavy hitters show up to these awards. Yeah. Mandy, executive produce, the podcast that the, I was a part of, can afford that. Brought together, yeah. all so, the things, yeah. A part of Salute EPing, you not only should, did she take on the cost, but she also did the research as an EP on doing the research. Hey guys, make sure that can't afford therapy isn't used. If it is, these used, were conversations we had. If it is used, say Vaughn, Antoinette, and Josh, let's go see how active this feed is. Because if this feed is really active, we may have to pivot off that name. Cool. It's not active. All right. Now we have to come up with something. We got to come up with the artwork. We yep. also have to put out a trailer. Yep. Not because we are trying to promote the podcast, but because we need to activate the feed. You get what I'm saying? Like there's certain steps that Mandy could have spoken to yeah. and and got across <laughs> without coming across that, a little bit of that, shady. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like fuck okay. the DM. If her and Melissa don't have that relationship, but she I, doesn't I, I owe anybody. She doesn't owe anybody that that you know, I, courtesy. I think, I think anything she says because she's Mandy. At this point, it's it, how it, she says it. Nah, sometimes it was a tweet. Wait, time out. Time out. Time, 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 time out. Let's be honest. It. Let's be honest. I disagree. It was a tweet. And Mandy, this is not They've for you. Put her in a box. This is not for you, Mandy. We all talk personal. Ooh. Okay. On Ooh. the podcast. Okay. Ooh. And we ain't gonna give up no tea. Okay. Ooh. But personally, us all in our group chat. Yeah. We just went through something in real time. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. That's a fact. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stay right there. But if we know said person has a history of always going about 
certain things in a certain way mm -hmm. and always having drama attached to their name, mm -hmm. uh, okay. then... Uh, it's, it's a, <laughs> you my sis. Yeah, you my sis, but yo, it, 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 I'm like, sorry, girl. She's like, I'm hey, girl, about me? I'm so sorry, girl. Plus her pearls. So that's my whole thing, sis. Hey, like, <laughs> so sorry, shorty. You must still my sis. <laughs> People had now associated Bandy with just that stuff, unfortunately. So anything she said, you even said it up here today. Well, before I intro this shit, yo, these niggas hate me. All the comments. And she didn't even say a word on the podcast yet. You see what I'm getting at? So unfortunately, it's going to look shady, whatever you say, because of what's happened before. There is context. That's like, the, yeah, that's the only talking, reason like, why I say that. You talk about yeah. her before, you know, that yeah. really does play into it. Yeah. If okay. that never happened before, <laughs> like, okay. who cares? And, and mm. what you really should have did, you should have promoted your consultations. I, oh, no. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, there was a way to go about it and, and yeah, yeah. a little bit more diplomatic. <laughs> but I understand what you were saying Working and I get what you were saying, this but is there is a way because... You, you know what you're doing, Mandy. You've been doing this at a very high level, despite what the internet may think. Like, you do have respect amongst your peers. And I love, personally, waking up because you and Joe wake up at <laughs> 5 a.m. Don't do that. No, for real. That's just what we do. Are. I know. That's just, I like, know. in your nature. I know. Like, I know. Like, so, on Oh, yeah, I be Saturdays, sending messages at, like... 6 a.m.? Oh, uh, I've texted you before <laughs> yeah, eight. I've texted you before yeah. eight a.m. Like, I, I know. Yeah. So when I wake up on my feed, y'all know the the social media algorithms. Nothing is chronological. They're just gonna put the people they want to put on your Man, fucking random. timeline. Yeah. So when I see her and Joe having an exchange at six a.m., what the fuck? I know. Wait, that was at six in the morning. First off, it's because I was in Abu Dhabi. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> You can that, you I don't know, I don't know what time it was over here, but it's, I was in Abu Dhabi, and it's an eight-hour time difference. And it's shisha, not hookah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Back, call back. Listen, I, I respect him as a content creator. Clearly, there's a level of respect that he has for me. With this, you know, and sometimes, you know, it's just a little, we like to rustle a little I think, I think y'all both, you know what we was talking about today? WWE? Y'all yeah. yeah. are WWE. Got you. Honestly, no, 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 no. it did seem a little, well, I don't know a lot. It did seem like a little playful. It's WWE. It's very playful. It? Nah, it's, all, it I always, don't know. it's, it's fake playful fights. with Joe. Because yeah. if somebody who it's all scripted. has some, what of a relationship with Joe, if Joe don't fuck with you, he don't acknowledge you. Yeah, yeah. I know. Same. And I'm not saying oh, he fucks with you. I don't acknowledge people I was about to say, I don't know if he fuck with you. But oh, no, no, no. We, we don't fuck with each other. Oh, but we fuck with each I other. I saw y'all at the mixer. <laughs> I know. Y'all keep talking about it, but what I will say is now, like... Nah, I'm going to text Joe good morning tomorrow. <laughs> so you trying to start some shit. It's an antagonist. I'm just going to be like, good, mo good morning. Hey, Joe, I know you watching. How you doing, boo? Go yeah. leave that on red. What? Yeah. He better <laughs> not. <laughs> he damn sure will. Yo, what's the, the difference between, <laughs> what's the difference between doing what Mandy did and cutting through? What do you mean? Like, the, the podcast space. Uh, yeah, yeah it, I'm not going to lie. In, in, with that... With the fumble of that announcement, October 1st, November 1st, December 1st, January 1st, who knows when it's going to come out. What? See, what that's have, shady. Okay, yes, okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm a comedian. Um, <laughs> she can say she that. Like, that's the excuse. And the show. Shit and gigs. Let me just lead into the comedian aspect. And apparently, I'm not allowed to be funny because I'm a woman. Um, oh, but, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Don't drag us great. into this. No, but. Maybe it's great. Yeah. At that point, because of that yeah i don't think anything i would have said in regards to helping or assisting actual podcasters launch their shows would have gone across not seeming shady mm -hmm. I, I like i said it's unfair that i get to speak about the call her daddies the deals we talked about the hundred million dollar deals i send you probably once a week mm -hmm. podcast news i'm right. up on it like i literally wake up every morning and read pod news mm -hmm. that is my life the industry is my life and so the fact that i can I guess even drop a tip and it becomes this whole mess sucks because mm -hmm. what can I say now until this show comes out, that's not going to appear shady. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yes, it was petty. The timing was what it was, mm -hmm. but it's also like, damn, as a black content creator, I would like us to be elevated to where we're getting these hundred million dollar deals. Mm -hmm. Does it work if the people coming out with the platforms, with the notoriety aren't doing shit the right way? I just wish there would have been, she would have leaned into someone like who knew exactly what they were doing like, because she has the ability to have a really big podcast, to make a lot of money, to really use her words in a way that people could sit here and add, add her to their weekly listening list. And to me, there's just a way to go about doing it. And I wish she would have done that. Okay. 
That's all. See I'm that good. delivery? I wish her the very best. That was beautiful. Yeah, I, thought I that want was her to be successful. We never wish nobody the very <laughs> best, but we say we wish them the very <laughs> best. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's the very. Pharrell facts, said that to his dad, too. That's crazy. It's the very. Oh, my God. You know what my favorite is? God bless. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. no. You ready? You I like it. I love it. No, no, no! I didn't say that. that ain't, that's oh, the okay. ultimate shade. No, that's, shade. Oh, that's the ultimate one. That's shade. Cause just say you like it. Yeah. Like, nah, you know I. I wish. I. I'm rooting for everyone black. I did. <laughs> she wouldn't. Uh, Hold she on, not. she's not. I, she's I, not I, lying though. She means that. She means I mean that. that. I mean that. <laughs> I'm rooting for everyone black, and I want everyone to succeed. 2025. There's a lot of money coming down the pipeline yeah. for all of us. Mandy hustle. And I want us to motherfucker. <laughs> Met the Mandy. Um, and I just, I, I do. I want everyone to win. That's right. it. Yeah. And yes, y'all, sometimes I wake up in the morning and want a, a side of petty with my coffee, okay? Mm-hmm. I actually am in therapy. Pettiness is one of those things that just makes me feel a little good. <laughs> I think people respect you know? <laughs> them more. I think people respect them more when you stand on it. I, yeah. I like to be yeah. motherfucking petty. Yeah, because yeah. when we were like, Manny, that was shady, she was like, it was. I was like, okay, oh, okay. conversation's I, over. What I'm, gonna what I'm, I'm gonna not going to sit here <laughs> and argue with y'all. Yes, yeah, I can I'm sit do. here and argue with y'all the premise of the tweet and all the things. I want everyone to win. I want her to be mm. successful. Hope she has all the great guests that she, her little heart desires. But her I. Her little heart. <laughs> And then when they throw little That's in crazy. something, your little show, your little heart, you see niggas, I, right? I ain't do that. I ain't need it like that. But just so y'all know. I have a question uh. for Mandy. I feel like me and you are very opposite. I feel like you guys... <laughs> No, this is shade. Wait, no, it's no, not. No, 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 she being honest. No, I'm saying I'm a certain way. You're a certain way. Yeah. That, I never said I'm better than that. But I feel like when you said like, oh, sometimes I wake up and I just want to be petty. Like, do you ever see... A day in your life, like an era in your life where that is not you anymore? Or is that going to be a part of you forever? Girl, I ain't the same person I was yesterday today. You feel me? Right. So. <laughs> I don't know. So I might change it. I cannot can change. imagine yeah. waking up and going looking for mess No, no, no. I don't, I don't go looking for mess. Let's Probably. be very clear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When it falls in my lap, I have a response. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Like, this shit ain't full, though. The I'm show not was gonna placed lie. perfectly no, no, no. on the table. Girl, that I'm announcement like... didn't fall on your lap, though. <laughs> yes, so girl, like, when you I scrolled the Twitter timeline, opinion... no, bitch, I scrolled the Twitter timeline. I said, now what is this? <laughs> and, <laughs> no. and you don't have... okay. I said, okay, 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 okay. wasn't okay, there okay. just, but, I was like, two pod announcements <laughs> back to back? This sound. <laughs> what? What? Whoa. Because that nigga what was. Is... When a nigga fall in my lap, no, I'm a tranquilizer. That, it's no, no, crazy. No, no. You got that, is not what that is not at all this what I said. Is crazy. I'm talking about tweets and Get responding out. in yeah. tweet Get manners. Out. I am no, not. I'm- we shutting this down. Don't you worry. That's no, crazy. when we were talking about little people, he was like, yeah. you know, have you ever watched them have sex? That's crazy. <laughs> he watching her get drilled out. Do you know the out. dick is the same size as the leg? He looking no, too. No, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, so, <laughs> say, so, I mean, it, it's weird. I was also talking like, we all have, I, I could consider it a flaw. I'm sure the internet considers it. Oh my God, you're a bully or an asshole. You're so mean. I'm not. I believe I'm a fucking nice person. But the same way, maybe... I don't know. All of y'all do shitty shit. Okay, maybe you fucking steal. Yeah, maybe you steal your coworkers' fucking lunch and don't want them to know. Or you know what I mean? Maybe you sneak in and clock in thirty minutes later than you're supposed to. And you have done like, that. Like there's there's different <laughs> ways in which we show up that isn't the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, petty is is fun. Bitch, live a little. God damn it. No, me too. I we wish ain't gotta be white. We ain't gotta be politically correct and everything. That's what we were talking about earlier. This goddamn sensitivity at y'all niggas sensitive. Have a little fun. Love a little. <laughs> yeah, I need to loosen up a little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, he couldn't. And with that being said, hey, this has been the Need to Know podcast. Was, that was. That if you, was if you it. made it this far in the podcast, She's I one feel last like no, they did. You, you may not need to know who Mandy is, where she be. <laughs> but we'd be remiss if we didn't ask or tell you where you can find Mandy. Mandy, no. please let oh everybody know. Goodness. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me and <laughs> at me and harass me everywhere at Full Court Pumps. Or you can listen to my very successful podcast. Uh, horrible decisions every Monday wherever you listen to podcasts. And um, Period Sis Season 2 is out as well. Uh, if you guys want to go check that out, that's probably more for the, the women listening. And um, I have just some very good, uh, exciting news coming in the next couple hey, of months. Yep. Um, so really excited about that. So you guys sure. can, you know, 
Catch me everywhere uh, in your algorithm all over YouTube because these niggas won't stop fucking talking about me. So yeah, <laughs> Mandy B everywhere. You know? Two that. eyes, you don't again. spell it wrong. We love that. With that being said, if you <laughs> yeah, made it this yeah. far in the podcast, there's no reason you haven't. Like, comment, subscribe, whether it be love, hate, everything and different. We appreciate y'all making this far into the podcast. It is the Need to Know Podcast, what you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know Podcast. We will be back again next week. I don't know if Mandy B going to be I here. I won't. I'm going to be in another country. I got shit to do. All right. Well, we're going to see y'all next week. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Send us tickets, all right? Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Gang.